Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to have you here today. We got everyone lined up. We got the best guard Crocs on for prime grand arena defense that we're going to need today. You see, you see what Gary's wearing? No, 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 this is nothing. They might be asking, why didn't we provide best guard Crocs for Gary? Because I'm hoping he breaks his leg one of these days. That's besides the point. Besides the point is that we're looking good. Gary can't be on that list with us. We're about to hop into some whoop, sweaty Grand Arena action 5v5 back on the menu, boys and gals. But let me tell you, it's getting brutal out there. Leia is going to be the main topic for a little bit. And as predicted, the King of Trippy Gods gift the mobile game of the eighth day of creation, many of their fancy titles predicted. The Han, Chewie, Leia thing, it's going to be a something we're going to be seeing for a while in Grand Arena. So I need you guys to get locked in. I need you guys to be at least this tall. Okay, maybe down here because then I wouldn't be able to get there. Because we're about to get on the big boy rides right now. Let's hop into the action. Let's show you what we got cooking. Then we're going to show you why I think we're pretty darn good looking. At ease, everyone. I got, I got this. All right, let's do it. Larry, how you doing, man? You're looking pretty good over there. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you, yeah, hold, hold that, hold that elevator for me. Hold on, hold on, just hold it for me. Hold it, hold on. All right. Uh, hold on, hold the door, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Whew, okay. <laughs> These things they always gotta close a little fast. I want. All right. Ah, uh, gotta give me a few seconds. We gotta, you know, there's a lot of floors here and the biggest, deadliest star destroyer, aka the Kraken. Uh. Uh, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you doing all right? Yeah? 
Oh, that's my floor, I think. Uh, let's get out of here. Ah, <sighs> oh, it feels good to be back. In the swing of things, y'all. How are we doing? Everybody, hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Freaking, we got to put that G-R-A-N-D inside the arena, ladies and gentlemen. How is the Kyber Club doing? Let's give a couple shout outs here. We have Wizard of the Roast. Get it? Because Wizard of the Coast, Wizard of the Roast. <laughs> we have Roger, Roger, FN Pro Gamer, Rob's Mad World in the chat. Get your own tots. Uh, yeah, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when I have my tater tots, I don't want anyone to touch you. No, I didn't want to split with you. These are my own. If you wanted your own tots, you get your own anyways. Mild uh, the annoyance right there. We have Thomas Wand. Wand or is it Wand? Ooh, well, I'm gonna go with Wand. I'm gonna play it safe. We also have Vader King with the what? <laughs> Nathan Hudson, uh, Jabo Gaming. Did I read you? I don't know. You're gonna get read again. The Blacksmith, Seth Club, Seven, Anti Hero. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Sharing is caring. Not when it comes to the tater tots, man. When it comes to the tater tots, get your own. Get your own. I'll give you the extra 99 cents to get your own right there. Sidious can solo Giolia, bro. You know it. <laughs> Don't you know it, my friend? Uh, you know, the, the repercussions of this Leia thing are going to be quite severe to the point where I think Darth Malgus, for the foreseeable future, if this is how we're going to go about it, Darth Malgus making a reappearance on defense again. Now that we have ooh, some trickle down effects because of Leia's, we're going to break down. We got Mike approved the 49. Let's go! LTK. Oh, Michael Bird, I could always count on you to get the party rock and roll. Great to see you, bud. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We have Rossi. How we doing, bud? Six months. Are you still on Cloud9? I bet you are. Theory's video today with you, and it was great. What? There's a video of me? Uh-oh. Okay. Should I be worried? Should I be worried? Let's see. Star Wars Theory. All right. Oh, the Star Wars community. Oh, this is, I feel the suspense. Hold on. I feel the suspense. Oh, all right. Let me see this. Let me see this. It looks like I'm just kind of clicking through. It looks like he did a, oh, that's cool. He did like a little montage of all the people he's been uh, hanging out with over the past couple weeks here. I'm going to watch it real quick just to make sure, you know, Gary's not going to get in trouble. Boy, hopefully he didn't get, pick up any dirt on Gary here. Bring him on over. Let's, let's check it out real quick. Just real quick. Just real quick. Come on over. Let's see what we got here. All right. Star Wars theory. The Star Wars community. Let's see what we got here. Welcome back to Woo! a new stream. Yeah! Look, give a very look at that happiness on my face. Warm welcome to Arnold. Hopefully this music's like copyright free or else, yeah. I'm gonna, the YouTube police is gonna tackle me any moment now. So, so okay, so I'm, let me just, so I'm guessing you you think Ahsoka is oh, okay, canon this is what, okay. and or not canon? I, I have to remember, it's been, it's been a couple weeks since we uh, we hung out on that one show. So I have to kind of like go back to like, what were my questions? So I think I'm asking him because he had this uh, this dichotomy sort of where like certain Star Wars was canon, but certain stuff was not canon. So I was like confused. I, so I remember these questions. Is that as if I had to kind of just guess, just understanding what you're laying out there? The end of the day, as long as I have the first six movies and I have the Clone Wars, I'm happy. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I can see As long that. as I have yeah. everything before 2012, I'm good. You're good. There you go. Have you ever been to the Kyber Club? Mark? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. This is a good I've never been. Yeah, you want to take it? Oh, man. Take it. Right, take go. it to the we'll point. To the Kyber Club. Okay, come oh! Get the music out. Oh! Oh, it's more air horn. It's a Oh, did he play the Malico song? Ah, they got the Malico banger. <laughs> Wait, is that him playing it? Uh, Gary, you're not playing that. that. He put the song in there. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. We got to celebrate the night. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah! What the fuck? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> Look at those dancers, man! Oh, Holy oh, cow, I'm on fire! Oh, Spider-Man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, got the triple B tackle oh, airflow so shorts! <laughs> it's weird the hearing the music we put out on other people's shit. Like, it's, I don't... It's like, it's just kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> and then... Oh, is this someone else? <laughs> nice i didn't see this so, so thanks for putting on my radar rossi yeah you know again it was a cool you know uh thing as a little ode to you for the years of watching us and wanting us to get together oh man that was interesting yeah all right cool thanks for putting my radar i had no idea about it i remember when we were doing the one stream i was like telling him, I was like dude you gotta 
a lot of people you can hang out with in chat so it seems like they did a little montage of all that that was really cool thanks for putting on my radar my man Woo! there we go getting the energy moving and flowing out there who knew that we could make such a game so much fun around here oh the wolfman five dollars can you play raining blood for slayer organa ltk chances are again I, i'm sure the youtube police already knock it on the door but luckily we have the best security system of all time right gary yeah <laughs> i'm pretty sure if i played that we'd be in bigger trouble that's a whole different ball game and then what rossi says that he, he used sis at the 90 and what two songs and one video hold on let me see let me find it dice him um we'll do this again we'll do that much for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my kicks are killing me right now. Oh! Oh, damn! That's awesome! Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think we... Did I, I don't remember if I even talked about the, the music stuff with him. Hold on, there we go. Oh, oh my kicks are killing me right now. I never heard of this guy before. That was funny we seeing him right away. It's a little like, oh, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah, I had no idea. That's awesome to hear, Rossi. Thanks again. But I, I, I have no idea. I'm like, I, you should know how I'm. I'm like a vampire. I just surface out of my coffin whenever Grand Arena comes back around. <laughs> yeah, it's been a hot minute for a stream. It has, but I got to say, I feel like we've been keeping ourselves busy over the, the past week. So, like, time kind of flew, if you think about it. Yeah, 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 baby. Okay, what else we got here? Man, there we go. Rossi's starting us off on another nice foot. We got Asa Hampton. 10 months of the Capital VIP Plus program. Another round of JC Domination incoming. Uh, uh, yeah, and of course, the IGBITK. You got the, the usual stuff out there. We got <laughs> we gotta kind of break it in a little bit. We're going back to 5v5. There's new stuff in our way, new data crons, and Leia's kind of being a joy to play with or i should say play again so other than that once we get through that oh yeah smooth operation at that point i suspect no issues spare gear starting us off as well five gifted memberships uno dos tres cuatro cinco gifted memberships to the copper club vip plus program give a round of applause to those brand new copper club vip plus members wow thanks for sharing the love Spurger. great having you here we have john d mcnon 20 months oh, Nothing like a good Utini party. We have RJJR82, the 20 months of the Copy Club VIP Plus program. Welcome back, Master of Baiting and... <laughs> Welcome to the Copy Club. Well, that's not just how I am. <laughs> no one beats it better than I do. Just think about it. I want you to sit there and think long and hard about that. Good job. I was, I'm glad you picked up the music there, because that would have been really awkward if the song ended right there. Uh, we have Captain Sack 31, three months. It's great day to be in the Empire. We gotta kind of jumble those back in the right order, but the point is across, Captain Zack. It is a great day to be in the Empire. It, it doesn't have the same flair. It's, it's great to be in the Empire. Today. It has that special flair, but the message was there. Love it, my friend. Thank you. We have Mike, 15 months. Plan, plan it like a noob. On LT1 from Chewbacca's video, and to this day, that strategy holds up. If you don't have a plan, what are you doing? You're planning like a noob. Think about it. Gosh, I have all these like amazing trademark things I could be putting out there. Planning like a noob. That's a good one. Jeez, my genius never ceases to amaze me. I don't know what, the, what else to say. We have Y2KL, 12 months. Holy cow, I can't keep up. You guys are coming in with overwhelming force. 12 months with the little heart, heart. Thank you so much, my friend. Send a love right back at you. We have Darth Kadus, 37 months. Surprise, we're still waiting on the next bow wreck. I half expect to be done by now. You know what? I'm totally fine with that. Let them take their time. I kind of... I know it sounds like a weird thing to say. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, I'm a little crazy at times, but I kind of like when we have like, it's cool when there's a lot of stuff going on, right? I'm not going to complain. It's cool. You know, you feel the pulse of galaxy is kind of rise up and people are chugga, 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 choo, choo. It's nice to let the pulse rest a little bit. So what it's been like two weeks since the last one, you know, we're going to probably go into a third week until we get the next character. Let them take their time. I feel confident the next week we'll have it. But I think now seeing how they're, we don't know where we're going. Everything's kind of off-road, so it's we don't really know the pace of everything. I'm kind of forming my own unofficial road ahead of my mind. It feels like they are going to drag Bo, probably like how they dragged Starkiller and Aphra into December. That's kind of my expectation now, kind of seeing how they're pacing things. Again, we're kind of making speculation. It could happen next week, for all I know. They just released two new characters at once. But, you know, let, let's have the enjoy the breathing room as long as we can, right? And then we have Tyler Hammer, 16 months. Once again, I am witnessing the handsome triple B. Got him, yeah. 
You're making me blush. Happy to continue to be a part of this great empire. Tyler, you're always too kind, man. Always too kind. I wish Gary would talk to me like that, dude. All this guy does is... Sounds like Michael Myers. He just breathes down the back of my neck half the time. It's actually kind of creepy. Anyways, we have Safari, bro. 31 months. I barely play these days, but I never miss a stream. And that I can promise you. I always see you hanging around here. You know how it goes. You don't need to play the game to hang out here. You'd be surprised how many people are just chilling here. They never touched foot in the game. They just want to have that fun that we like to have around these parts of town. Great having you, Safari, bro. We have uh, Fueled by LaChan. New membership to the Kyber Club VIP Plus Program. Great having you around these parts. Make sure you enjoy your stay around the Kyber Club VIP Plus Program. We have uh, Petros, two months. Sup, bottle. Just started seeing uh, the C Journey ticket grind. Super excited. Second GL like you. You know what? It's kind of now, you know, every GL you can get is obviously going to make it better and better, not just for Grand Arena territories and all the other stuff, but that new ultimate journey. Listen, you're going to enjoy it. I guarantee it. Who's that? Who's that? Is that men's warehouse? You're going to gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. I don't like the way you look. I don't know. Someone like that said that. Sounds like it kind of rolls off the tongue nicely. Did you make a finalized versus executor? Oh, dude, Mr. Fabulous, 24 months. Yeah, we were like the first people. To do it literally within moments of the stream our triple b tacticalness just like clicked in yeah there should be plenty of videos by me streams uh keep in mind let's see finalizer versus executor i don't know let's see mm -hmm. yep here you go new one shot counter with the first order tie edge on first order versus executor counter guide now i do want to know this was made literally moments after the echelon which came out in early 2022 but yes we do have said video here so go check it out new one shot counter at the first order to echelon but keep in mind ever since this counter was born into existence people have been trying to throw it off so you might right see away. variations of things but for the most part i think most people are going to encounter this lineup nothing really has changed it's been kind of the bulletproof counter but now you might notice there's triple attackers that could throw things off but if you're facing this lineup to my knowledge nothing really changed with this counter that i put out over a year ago let's hope that helps you out my friend let's go ahead bring them back on over here what else we got what am i missing i feel like i'm missing something else here oh my gosh you guys are just freaking coming in full force my gosh jeez louise mama bees all right hold on let me get let me try to get a few more out of here well uh, we have thomas Kornenak. New membership to the Kyber Club VIP Plus program. Thomas, I feel like I've seen you around in the VIP Plus uh, halls. Maybe I'm wrong, but nonetheless, great having you here. And then where can I get your big Jawa juice mug to buy? I, didn't I tell you? Oh, did she freaking she took it again, didn't she? You know, this is what happens when you have a Lady Vinalderon. She finds like, I, I'm like a dog. It's like my dog water bowl. You know, you put water in it, you just let it sit there for like who knows how long, you know? So it, that's where all the flavor comes from with the water just kind of settling in a room for a couple weeks. So. Apparently she took it and she washed it. No, but uh, you want to know my secret? I was just at it was a local grocery store. They had these big Christmas mugs. It was just a Christmas mug. If I showed you and flipped it around, it would say Merry Christmas on one side. And I'm like, dang, I could just slap on one of the stickers on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Unfortunately, I can't find anyone who can make those mugs. Jeez. <sighs> but if I can, I will do it. I will totally do it. I don't know who makes. That's literally the biggest mug I've ever found it, like ever, period that's actually usable it's big but it's usable at the same time <sighs> if anyone makes big mugs call this jug all right are we on the same page there and uh <laughs> we have kelsey almeida 39 months time to destroy some rebels da, 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 da. good thing is we don't have any rebellions around these parts we got a wave of all that but i do vibe with the let's destroy some things in general so why don't we do this i'm gonna go ahead get us primed and ready we're gonna go to the Grander Coliseum. Not too far away, it's right around the corner on an Aldron. You can't miss it. I wanna get into this Grand Arena breakdown because uh, she, man, we got a, uh, we're gonna have a lot of work ahead of us until we really finalize some very simple counters. Well, not simple, try to find simpler counters is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't know if you guys are ready for it. The stalling meter getting through the rope. Oh yeah, it's a, it's an all time. It's at all time high. Actually, no, to be fair, I think the longest we stalled before Grand Arena was like an hour. I feel like we got to top that one. They just chat for an hour. Anyways, 
Just go get some watering cans and chop off the lids. This is Adam. See, look at that. You know, dude, you need to be in charge of the product line around her. Adam's got to just go to Home Depot, buy a bunch of watering cans, chop off the top. <sighs> just like we're about to chop off this intro. Let's do it. Gary, you know, you got to actually, thank you. Play the song. Thank you. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Let's see who gets there first. profile grand arenas behind me gary you better this better be connected to the right one you idiot you got it connected to the wrong one hold on which is which which super is it this one it's, it's, it's gotta be this one gary brother what are you what's your purpose in life i already know that don't answer that literally make my life more miserable anyways let's get to it the board is waiting for the attention of us today so uh, uh, get out of my way. <sighs> Let's do this. I know you guys have been aching in your bones for 5v5 to come back. And trust me, I'm 100% with you. The 3v3 just, ugh, it's just, it's between us and where we want to be. But we slogged through them. We did pretty well in 3v3. We made it out with minimal brain damage and insanity caused. But now we're back in the business. Let's go start over on the Big Daddy account where we got some problems, my friend. Can you please, kind, warm, round of applause to our opponent today, Moral Hazard! Representing Maul Chromium. Seems like Maul maybe changed up their names. This is a long story. I was a part of their guild and uh, it was always confusing to me. There would everyone be called Maul on the different like families within Maul but they would have slightly different symbol to differentiate themselves. And it got a little bit more confusing. They had different tiers of Maw. And I know it's not gonna make sense unless something changed. Maw Chromium, which is where Moral Hazard's from, that's the highest guild inside of Maw. And then there's Maw Erodium, which is like the second best guild in Maw. And then this is gonna get even more crazy. Then there's Maw Kyber. And you would think Kyber would be their highest tier guild in Maw. That's like their third highest tier guild in Maul. I don't know. Point being is Maul's got fantastic players and even to this day, their hierarchy kind of confuses me. Maybe that's why it's designed to be that way. Makes really sense. I, that's what I'm saying. It makes sense if you think about it. If you think about it. Nonetheless, Maul's got some of the big daddy people over there. We have 13.1 million GP. We got all the galactic legends. I'm sure we got all the lovely capital ships. And Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And more importantly, this is the part that really matters. The top of Kyber. Everyone's got the same roster, but not everyone's got the same amount of juice, if you know what I mean. So we're not going to look at that. We know we're in the danger zone when it comes to Grand Arena. This is where the Datacrons thrive, baby. Let's see what we got ahead of us here today. We got big things, big problems cooking. Looks like our opponent's still chipping away. Uh, let's start off with my defense. I did something a bit odd because of a particular galactic legend. And since my opponent's already gotten through most of the zones, I brought probably my, probably my, Gary, what the hell does that word even mean? No, backspace, backspace, probably. 
probably does not have three Bs. I know triple B, I get it. What is that? Why is there a Z? Get that out. Yes, geez. Probably my all-time high of most galactic ledges I brought on offense. But I did some interesting things on defense. We're going to see that sort of justifies that. So we have one shot on Jabba. We're going to see a lot of this layer for the foreseeable future. Unfortunately, two things. I forgot to put my modding back. Hello, right here, right here. Thank you. Hi, great seeing you. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think my mods were right for Grand Arena. So I don't know if I have the trick correct uh and secondly i don't know how the omicron affects the guard in grand arena some people think it shouldn't make a difference as long as drogon's in the fifth slot i honestly have no idea and i have no way of telling if i'm even getting the guard unless someone records the gameplay and sends it my way so kind of guessing uh we got a super ray team we have master Kenobi. they did pretty well which makes you think they probably i mean again you can do some cool things with data grounds but i'm assuming they probably don't have as many galactic legends going on either Checking the back wall. Pretty much one shots back here. Again, I'm not expecting much. I'm not expecting much from my opponent, but I did take a little peek. It looks like, looks like, got a, something up here. So check this out. We put Reva on defense. I'll explain why. Darth Malagus on defense, which I'll explain why. Starkiller on defense, which I'll just explain now. Uh, first off, I'm finding, I mean, maybe in 5v5 it's okay, but in 3v3, Starkiller had abysmal win rates against Ray because of all the defense stuff. I'm assuming it's going to carry over to 5v5. Starkiller might have a hard time with Raid this season, depending on Datacrons, but the Visus Markron is actually pretty nasty. This is actually a very good Territory War team. Every time someone gets defeated, Visus Mark takes a bonus turn, resets her cooldowns, which means she's going to do the revive. So we got a hold there, so just a hold. And then we have Malikos as well, taking no beating. And again, I'm assuming probably my opponents do something similar where we're kind of in a weird spot with Galactic Legends, and I'm assuming they're saving ships towards the end. Here's where the problem comes in, my senores. Oh, gosh. This right here, this wall literally shows the fundamental impact that this Galactic Legend has brought that I've not seen in any other Galactic Legend up until this point. Let me show you. So... There is your Super Leia, Toxically. There's a lot of names kind of being thrown out in the community. Boom, first Grand Arena. My opponent dropped it down as well. I think they have it right. They have no Omicron on Drogue, and I'm assuming they double check their modding. So this is properly functioning. But what does this do? Like, it's cool that Master Luke can beat it, but here's the issue that I take with Master Luke, and it's kind of in a similar vein to Lord Vader. <sighs> to make Master Luke good, he needs to cannibalize many top tier teams. That Master Luke kind of, which I'm hoping it's going to work today. We're assuming this should work. I've made it work many times. We're going to hope it works today. The problem with Master Luke is what does it do? Number one, it makes the Master Luke team cool. Number two, it takes away the Jedi Knight Revan team and Jedi Knight Luke team that I use. Number three, it takes away my Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. Three teams in one. And this is the repercussions you see. Number one, if you got to use Jedi Knight Cal, boom. Malgus. He's back as a scary daddy because because Cal made him irrelevant. But if Cal is stuck making a super Luke team to take out one Galactic Legend team, that's a repercussion right there. But check this out. Number two, I don't have Jedi Knight Revan and um, Jedi Knight Luke. A common counter to something basic like a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. If I get to put these three teams in one, you're going to see some weird stuff like this. So my hope is maybe there's going to be an easier way of beating this. I was considering maybe try to lock in the Jabba counter because if I can get Jabba to work, that's great because Jabba is just one team and that's it. He's not stealing anything from anyone else. It's just not, it doesn't feel as good as the Perimeter Kyle, not Perimeter Kyle, uh, Jedi Master Luke. So as you can see, I brought four Galactic Legends. I, most times I only have one, maybe two. Four? That's unheard of. So I, yeah, that's kind of where I stand. I don't trust the Perimeter Kylo, especially without Malakos. I don't trust Sith Eternal. Gosh, I don't know if Lord Vader can get the job done without Reva and Inquisitors. So then I'm left with Master Luke. So we're going to have to take this piece by piece. I, I really want to get Jabba to work here. I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's a complicated situation that all of a sudden things that were very easy to counter afterwards, Malgus, Supreme Leader Kyle Ren, like if you got to put three teams to beat one, that's an expensive counter. But let's see if it even works. Let's just see if it even works. Let's go in there. Maybe I'll change it. I have a change of heart. Maybe I'll be like, you know what? Screw it. Let's give Lord Vader a shot. And then I'll just pull out my hair. And we could just start off with that, I suppose. 
to a JMK with gas beat the toxic like I have not seen a JMK gas thing here you want to hear you want me to show you I'll show you guys real quick I mean I showed you me using master Kenobi against gas uh Leia in my video the other day I don't think it really shows the true power of this Leia team even though I got basically within a minute my team was decimated I don't know what gas would do because remember you can't even increase cooldowns so I'm not even sure what the angle is that we're looking at here let's let me just hop in here and just see if I can find the Kenobi team all right let's just uh take that Kenobi yeah I don't think I have my mods right I forgot to take off the health set <laughs> you need to take off the health set so I think this screwed up my modding so even if I did have the mods right I have no idea if the Omicron is causing issues but let me just show you real quick why is my game look darker I, yeah I was wondering that I don't know why I don't know why I've been noticing that lately I mean I could artificially enhance the brightness but I nothing's changed it's really weird here let me see something here uh because I was like looking at my gameplay it's like why does this look dark nothing's changed I have no filters on any of my stuff it looks normal to me you can count on Gary to be an idiot let me see a color correction that's not what I want what do I want to do here let's see if we can make it slightly brighter but where is the sharpen no we don't want to sharpen let me see if color correction is what I want there we go contrast brightness is that even doing anything I can't even tell if that's doing anything I don't even see a difference yeah I'm not even seeing a difference here so I, I have no idea did they increase so they, they did something they think you guys think they changed the color settings of the game I have no idea oh, yeah I just I noticed that the other day this thing is literally doing nothing of value I don't know what this is supposed to do all right get rid of this did I click on the right thing hold on oh wait no my bad I clicked on the wrong thing <laughs> all right hold on let's try that one more time yeah that was bothering me I'm glad I'm not the only one I was like it just, it's got to be me this should do what I want let's see yeah, whoa that's too bright now maybe contrast is better let me see here contrast no 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 all right I uh, will just up the brightness it's just like it's just it feels just slightly dark okay that looks a little bit better right that looks a little bit better OBS speed run let's go yeah I don't know literally nothing has changed but like all of a sudden one day the game just started coming across darker I don't know it looks fine to me I don't know whatever it's worse you think I mean it shouldn't be darker we jumped up the bright this is worse way people oh boy you guys are confusing me you guys are confusing me right now I don't know I can tinker with this I don't know if anyone's gonna be happy all I know is for some reason it the stuff felt darker lately I made it worse too bright now all right let's dial it down a little bit dial it down all right let's go oh all right I literally upped it up by three points how about now how about now yeah what do we get all right okay this is the gritty dark Star Wars we always wanted <laughs> yeah there you go all right uh, okay seems like this might be better all right okay we'll just we'll let it be it's, it's not like unbearable I think I don't know uh I don't know it's it looks semi-visible closer to default now yeah it's only like two kicks up that's all I did nothing too crazy anyways I just want to show you even though I have improper mods on this team right now uh you can literally burn through a Kenobi team like I think I can basically full auto a Kenobi team in less than a minute like that's the significance of this team and from what I'm seeing Kenobi is not really that go-to counter I'm saying people uh, like to utilize let's just go ahead and doesn't really mean. again I don't know I'll just you know just throw it on auto just throw it on auto I don't need to pay attention usually I can just full auto this team call it a day I probably should just yeah just, there's so much damage coming their way boom 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 so much damage so much durability there we go boom more damage just keep it coming just keep it coming I don't know why we're even trying yeah keep it more damage buff the spells on this team I've never seen a, a general kid we get like wrecked this quickly on an opposing team and I probably should have opened up with the Han play on uh general Kenobi right away there we go boom bonk there we go I don't know who do you want to go for next Commander Tano I don't think it really matters at that point boom gone I'm like I like again and I feel like this would have been even faster if I would have just <laughs> let it on auto let them do their thing yeah what uh, yeah this is like this is the sheer power of this team I probably should have showed this in the video because I was trying to show in my video how you counter this team that's what I was trying to show so I was trying to show the good things to beat it on offense people don't realize this is how deadly this team is and I hope this gets the message across what we used to 
admire as the best galactic legend i'm sure if i left it on full auto from the get-go one minute you're done of general kenobi or jedi master kenobi unheard of before there was never a team that i can recall that could beat jedi master kenobi in a minute boom so hopefully that puts the perspective why this is nutty and my mods were improper again i forgot to put crit chance mods on take the health mods off so that was less than ideal still blew through that kenobi very quickly okay let's go hop in the grand arena and now let's just get back to the problem that i have it <laughs> here okay beaver ge good to see you off weeks make me sad i feel you the game uh, you know uh, gosh i don't again i don't want to sound like a broken record i always wish there's um uh, well i could tell they probably did a uh, general kenobi they probably do a gk two shot uh what was i trying to say um yeah i wish there was more grand arena action you know that that's the heart and soul of this game that's just imo y'all imo i feel you though but we're back and that's all that matters then we have michael robinson the 42 months tattooing your mom in the house thank you my friend always great seeing you you always you guys have always occupied that specific part in the kyber club corner in our community <laughs> i can always expect you guys to show up and have a good time and let's do one more john daniel i'm just trying to stall this out because i really don't want to do this battle i really don't <laughs> john daniel uh 249 a little bit of love our way we need republic commandos what you think <laughs> what am i supposed to say no i hate republic commandos hell no anything that's a clone anything that's got a helmet i want in the game and now that we saw them in bad batch i can only hope that we're gonna see something like that the question is will they do bad batch season two stuff i want to imagine crosshair is gonna make an appearance at some point at the minimum i would love to see a commander to show up and play some ball with this i mean like come on that'd be pretty sick and plus they made an appearance in battlefront too man i mean come on I feel like they're sleeping on all this all right speaking of sleeping uh, i don't want to do like again look how expensive this counter is one two three teams three teams for the hope that i'm gonna beat this legacy the hope again uh, like i know i mean i'm gonna do like one misclick and you're done like that's all you got oh two shot i don't want a two shot i don't want a two shot this again especially you're playing against a mall chromium guy you know they're one 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 they've only dropped two battles so far i assume they're going to clean up leviathan fairly easily now that the bomber's gone we can't really do too many multi-shots and i don't even want to play that game i don't even know how you're going to multi-shot this i really don't we haven't done multi-shot testing against this Leia team so uh the only other option you really have on the table is we could try lord vader i especially without reva i just don't trust a vanilla lord vader beating this team i just don't seeing how the inquisitor lord vader team you still would lose most of your team if you're gonna pull out a win i don't want to do this what's what is what's the data crown sets on this let me check real quick all right not as i, mean, I love how i'm not phased by hundreds plus percent defense i'm like oh yeah that's that's no big deal it's like, i'm still seeing like 400 percent um yeah there's really not many options i don't trust the eternal i don't really trust the perimeter kyle Rand without some other toys that i didn't bring with me I don't even actually i don't even know if the, for my limited testing with spermita kyra i just didn't quite like him up against leah and 5v5 3v3 is a different story yeah i mean what else do i do what else do I, what else am i supposed to do yeah trench off the bench hell yeah how does trey lead with c do uh, i don't know i've not i haven't tried that i have not tried that don't use without reva won't work that's kind of my suspicion venomous yeah i mean the, the reason why reva works one, you get several revives off Reva. Number two, the ability block. The ability block is the most important thing to the any Leia counter. So Grand Inquisitor landing ability block greatly helps. And this is why this kind of works too. All right, you know, I, I hate to do it. But I think we're... Uh. All right, let me run this through. So if I use this here, okay, sad days. We would probably do Sith Eternal on Malgus. We'd probably do Lord Vader on the Supreme Leader Kylo, right? And then maybe Supreme Leader Kylo on the Treya. Hey, I don't like that, man. It is, it's, it is what it is, though. I think that's what it is. Lord Vader with Maul, Royal Guard, Guard, and ISC. Maul and Commandos. I I don't think that's going to work. Especially, I forgot to remod Maul for Commando purposes. You need a fast Maul to make him work with the Commandos. I have a modded for Lord Vader still. So, I mean, not to say we won't do Commandos today. Like, I don't think I need Maul to take out Supreme Leader Kyron of Lord Vader. At least I hope not. <laughs> so we might use him somewhere, but we have to be cognizant. I don't have the fast speeds on Maul that are kind of needed. What speed do you need for Maul? Speed. More than what I have here. Because, again, we don't need a fast Maul for Lord Vader because he gets artificially boosted their speed and speed up. He, this, is built for, this is built for a defensive Maul with Lord Vader, which 
there's a history that I have. If I bring Lord Vader on offense, generally I lose the Grand Arena, but that's what it is. Jamel does one shot. At, yeah, but again, at what cost? It's a pretty darn big cost, if you ask me. So, you know, I'm just going to just do it. I don't like it. I don't agree with it. I explained why. But, you know, the bills come and do. Let's do it. All right. Haven't used Master Luke on offense in a minute. I'm giving I'm you the full bank, this. Luke. You can't screw Tree this up on me. Game plan Jedi. is we need to just keep turning down Leia. Use the insta kill where we can on someone. But Leia's got to be the primary target. You ready? Let's go. Resistance is dead. War Let's is get focused over. and dialed. I kill you. All right, I RNG's been dialed Jedi. to the max. Let's take advantage of it. Here we go. All right, big opening play. Drogon's coming in with a swarm attack. All right, we are going to just try to get some ability blocks locked in. Didn't get it on Leia. That always sucks. All right. How's our order of operation looking? We own the next foreseeable moments here. We're going to drop that first. Okay. Let's go ahead. Pass this on over to Cal. Let's see if we can get a buff this spell. All right. You know what? Uh, you know, you know, you know, I could do a few things here. Here's what I'm going to do. Ah, boy, my heart's telling me don't do it. Oh, they don't have the guard working either. It's on R2. I'm going to do this. I don't know if I agree with it, but I'm going with it. I'm just going to I want to keep Drogon marked down. All right, do basic here. All right, we're going to pass this on over to Revan. Try to quickly get to our instant kill. All right, keep hitting Leia. Pass it back over to Cal. Nicely done. We can't daze him because of his Datacron trash. Basic over here. Let's go land an armor shred there. All right, instant kill is almost ready. Almost there. Almost there. We just got to get one more turn. Under stealth, but hey, we got the buff unit on him. They aren't going anywhere. All right, we need to skip Cal his turn. Give him some turn meter, turn meter, turn meter. All right, give him more turn meter. Target Leia. Okay, we're almost there. Pop the insta kill. Three, two, one. That should mitigate some damage, but we got to make sure Leia does not revive. Whoa, let's get to work. Let's do it. Give it to the back over here. All right, keep just giving it over to Cal. Keep giving it to Cal. Do this. Just keep targeting Leia so she doesn't build up that ultimate charge. Pass it over to Cal. There we go. We're going to do some. Oh, boy. I don't like that at all. Oh. Oh. All right. Leia got away from me. I am desperately worried. Now that makes me regret not marking her down. All right. Um, give the Hermit Yoda real quick. Let's try to heal up the team. Oh, man. This is what gets me really concerned. This is. I'm going to regret it. I should have marked down Leia. I got greedy. Well, let's just keep rolling with it. Keep rolling. All right. I don't want to use this mark right now. Just hold it. Just hold it for a moment. Just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. What stance are we in? Let's just go ahead and drop some of this. All right. Oh, boy. This one gets me concerned. Look at that Leia. That stealth killed me. We need Leia to come out of stealth and play. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good. All right. This is where things get troublesome. I have a feeling Drogue is probably going to come back. Let's get over to Revan real quick. Basic. Basic. Oh, my gosh. Um, push her back. Push her back. Push her back. Push her back. Don't let her get it. Don't let her get down on us here. All right. Pass it over. I'm trying to get Revan over here. Trying to heal him up as much as I can before things get messy. All right. Pass it over to Luke. Let's try to hit this ultimate right now. Ultimate's coming in. If Leia dismantles some of that ultimate, we are screwed. All right. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. All right. Oh, we're going to lose someone. Hermit Yoda's going down. Hermit Yoda's going down. We're gonna lose Hermit Yoda, aren't we? Leia's gonna heal up. Oh my god. Nah, that's the game over right there, y'all. That's the game over right there. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We told you the timeout. There is no. I'm not doing this timeout bull cockery. I'm just not. Uh, I'm, per, I'm. If I'm bringing a three-team offensive lineup, we're not going in just a timeout. That's just, it's, inex, it's inexcusable. It's inexcusable. This is the best defensive team. People somehow weren't understanding. They weren't grasping. It's like, what's the point? Why is Han and Chewie here? You need to like shed some key. Yes, just because they're scoundrels, it doesn't mean they're not going to be gods here. Here, uh, the, My biggest play, and that's why I was staring at this battle. And I was just like, oh, I don't, I know I shouldn't do it. As much as you want to kill off Drogon, I needed to mark down Leia. We needed to focus all attacks on Leia. Not worry about Drogon. It needs to be full focus on Leia because once she was under stealth, her ultimate starts juicing up so much faster. And I, I don't know how I'm going to beat this now.
You also misplayed. Again, it was one, one. Like, let's not start. It literally was one misplay. One. It's not like five, ten misplays. This team, and it really comes down to the mark. If you don't mark the right person, you're kind of done. I got gutsy. Normally, Drogan's not out in the open. When I have revenue, like, oh, I'm going to go for it. Just mark down, lay it full focus. But one misplay cost the whole battle. That one misplay. That's it. Damn. Uh, now, at this point, we're going to hope that Lord Vader Maul can do it. The Grand Arena could be over right now. That the team that I, I, I heavily stacked this team. Yeah, exit snow preload. Oh, 100%. We're not going to leave this preloaded. I mean, it's not like you're going to notice the difference. So now we're kind of in an emergency mode. And what does this mean moving forward now? What am I going to do for Supreme or Kylo? What am I going to do in other circumstances? I mean, we can maybe figure out a way to multi-shot Kylo. Like, all right, maybe we can figure something of that out. But literally, one misplay. The whole battle just fell apart. I should have just I should have stayed on target. What did I say? We got to focus on Leia. I got cocky. I was like, oh, I, I can work on Drogon and Leia. No, you got to focus just on Leia and move move on from there. Maul, Jango, Watt, Candrus, no. No, 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 not gonna work against this Leia team with the, the explosive opening plays. My Maul's not modded for speed. The, remember, there's several things working here. Han, Chewie, start the party off. Drogon, opening mass swarm attack. My Maul's not gonna survive that. It's not, it's just, it's not gonna happen. I don't think this is gonna work either. Uh, look, so far, I'm dumping what? So far, we put three teams of Luke on here. We're gonna put two teams minimum with Lord Vader. So five teams in total on this layer. And I can promise you, I'll be blown away if somehow this works here. Somehow it works, I'll be blown away. Uh, you, you, it really feels like you need Reva. We don't got Reva for this circumstance here. If we had it, maybe I can eke it through, but without the ability blocks and whatnot, it ain't gonna happen. So, um, yeah, let's see what I can try to pull off here. I mean, at best, this is, we have this, just the standard team. You could try to throw in Gideon, maybe re reduce some damage. I don't expect Gideon's gonna stick around long enough. Um, we can maybe, it's just, here's the thing. The call to action, they can nuke whoever's around this tank. The tank is almost an irrelevant thing on this team here. Repost Datacron for Ufus, we don't got it. Again, I, I want you to, if you're asking for a Datacron, I just want you to assume nine out of 10 times, we don't got it. <laughs> if Lord Vader passed that, we will throw a weekly party. Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. Uh, we, uh, yeah, Days is kind of irrelevant again. Um, yeah, a bit, immune to ability block. Can't get fear. Okay, we could daze him still, but that's literally the least of my problems. I mean, nothing I'm looking here. I don't think it's going to work out. You think Cup Han Solo? Hell yeah, baby Hugo. I love it. I love it. Due to Ufu team. All right. I mean, again, this is what I have left. I, 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 this is all I got left. This is all I got left. It's all I got left. It's all I got left. The game plan was the team that puts three teams together was supposed to beat that. That's what the game plan was there. All right. Maul, Gar, Super Commando, I don't think it's, no, I don't, I, again, what is, what is Gar and Super Commando going to do? Remember, they're only really assisting when Maul does his lead thing. I mean, I, I might get a couple counterattacks. Again, I, I, we need to, like, really think what's the purpose of Maul, Super Commando. When they're under stealth, we can't even get them to counterattack because if someone's under stealth, that, that means a whole lot of nothing. I'm not seeing the Super Commando thing working out here. Uh, what I'll do though is I'll give away this good Datacron that I have. I was hoping to save this for Supreme Leader Kylo, but I have no other offense up Datacrons that I would like to have. Yeah, I don't got any more. That's one thing I, I wish I had more of was more of that dark side offense up Garbanzo beans. I only got like two or three. We don't got many of them. All right. Maul and Candor is 300% defense. Uh, not on this guy here. No, this is 180% that I got on this one. So not 300%. Again, I don't I don't know how much defense I could have. I don't think we're going to survive what's coming our way. Use Eslacare Water Armor from Y testing. It's not good. It doesn't work out uh, the way you think it would. And maybe you get lucky. I, I ran it a few times. It just wasn't clicking for me. All right. Gosh. I hope this works, or else we just burnt off hypothetically five teams within two battles here. Lord Vader! Gosh, I haven't uh, heard your song in a minute. But today, 
we're gonna set aside our differences and i want to tell you guys something after this battle i'm gonna tell you guys something you're not gonna even believe me you're not even gonna believe me but i'm gonna tell you afterwards if we win so most likely you're not gonna hear what i want to tell you because we're likely not even gonna win this but i'll show you how it goes anyways here we go i killed them all Kill them all, please. Just please, just get Leia out again. Let's not screw this up again. We need to get... Uh, all right. That's all right. I'll take it. All right. There goes that. There goes that. All right. Let's get down to work. Lance and Dave. All right. We need Maul to get in here fast. Let's go ahead and do some buff this spell. Probably should have targeted Han. Oh, well. It is what it is. It's fine. Okay. That's going to hurt us a little bit. All right. Okay, we need uh, need to get him in here. All right, let's just do Force Crush for the moment. Let Maul go to town. Let's go. All in. Let's go. Come on. All in. All in. That doesn't feel good, man. That does not feel good. She still has protection on her. All right, well, at least we have an alt at ready. That fractures a whole lot of nothing, but I'll, I'll just do it for the hell of it. Okay. Give me a turn. There we go. I feel like things are going well. They're targeting Lord Vader a lot, which is great. Let's go. Keep pushing. All in on Leia. I feel like I'm barely doing any damage. Hold on. All right. We're fine. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Let's come on. Let's get over to Leia. Back on Leia. Ah, I don't even want to do this. Just do basic. We got to focus all attention on Leia. I don't want to target anyone else except her. Basic. Let's go. Get our stacks back up and running. Getting bonked in the head. Come on. Basic. Let's go. We need more damage. More damage. Oh, God, no, they're getting around. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ability you. block. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Uh-oh. Thrawn's getting locked in right now. I don't like it. All right. Let me get to that five stacks again. Oh, we have... That sucks. We need to heal up the team. Heal up the team. All right. Uh, All right. Thrawn's almost gone. I cannot do Merciless Massacre. It's just going to be a whirlwind of trouble. All right. Another round of ability blocks coming in. Okay. Healing up the team. Oh, and there goes Thrawn. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. All right. And uh, I don't see myself surviving this. No, we're not going to survive it. Just do what you can. Come on. I'm not doing this AOE. That's just, that's just asking for trouble. All right. Uh, he's almost down for the count. Come on. Yeah, almost in the yellow. Almost. Just do a basic. Give me some ability blocks. Just no one else but Leia. Heal the team. There we go. Healing us back up. All right. There we go. Ultimate ready again. Lord Vader, let's go, buddy. Come on. All right. Come on. Oh, man. What the hell? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, my God. No. 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 Oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I guess it's put on auto at this point. All right. You know, I guess, uh, we could just, <laughs> yeah, he's not getting through that. He's not getting through that. Here, let's put on airplane mode. I'll, I'll give him the chance. I don't know. Maybe he can do something miraculous um this is the best galactic legend period best galactic legend period right now caveat very well could be the datacron as well uh the increased defense yeah there's your beloved lord vader right there i'll tell you guys a story anyway so my brother recently picked up galaxy heroes again because of uh light speed bundles because it just he hated that you couldn't do anything in the game for like five years and I know what he likes in Star Wars. He is a massive Clone War fan, prequel fan. Like, he has tons of uh, Clone Wars era troopers, droids, and vehicles that, like, then he reenacts the battles. Like, he loves the Clone Wars. So, guess what I told him? He's like, What should I work on? And I'm like, Here's what you're going to do you're going to farm your clones. I want you to farm all of them. Get your Captain Rex 5 first, get your Bad Batch, work towards the Padme. Get your General Skywalker. And I told him, go for the Lord Vader. Because I know that's what he would love to have the most. Uh, 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 just upgrading these awesome characters from the Clone Wars. And I told someone, based off what I know about you, you should just work on all the clones, the Galactic Republican Separatists, and you're beelining towards Lord Vader. Otherwise, uh, 
Oh, we got raid news. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Well, you know, <laughs> the Grand Arena is basically over at that point. <laughs> Anyways, try Traily to see. I'll throw a few more things. The Grand Arena is done, though. It's just I, I, I can maybe beat it at some point. Sit the turn on Spirit Macaron, but I am I'm literally I lost five teams in a blink of an eye three with Luke, two with Lord Vader, and then two more would, probably three more would sit the Eternal Trey of Savage. I have nothing for the rest of the Grand Arena at that point. Uh, let's check it out though. What do we got here? Let's see. Let me uh, pull it up on the big screen here. All right, man, that, 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 you know, I'm, I saw a lot of like comments in the late videos like, oh, this team makes no sense. And I'm hoping after today, Mish using it on offense, blowing through a Kenobi in a minute. What happened to the one Luke battle, the one Lord Vader battle? We are in the era of the best galactic legend, period. So much for, uh... <laughs> oh, this character is not going to be good on defense. I'm hoping we get to a point where we maybe see that, but I'm not expecting it anytime soon. All right, let's see this new raid news. Wow, fresh off the press, huh? Okay. Um, How long is this? Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. So this is basically, oh man, there's a lot of stuff to go on here. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh man. See, this is stuff I like to normally do digest that I'm off strips. I could sit here, kind of read it. I don't think you guys want to have me read this two times over once for you guys and once for the people who can't be here. Here. Uh, all right. Let me. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Okay, yeah, this is, there's definitely a lot going on here. Record a YouTube vid live, but you guys, like, you know, normally when a kit reveal comes and we kind of read through the kit first to kind of like dissect it, understand it, because I, I don't do a lot of just like raw, oh, I'm just gonna read this post, I hit record, I don't know what's coming. I like to kind of know my thoughts going in, going into it before we share this with the YouTube. YouTube vid us, yeah, we'll do it. I just, I won't be able to be like, hey guys, this is bad. This is good at the beginning of the video. It'll just be me kind of just going through it with the naked eye in the first round here. Uh, all right, let's see. You did have the Great Nerf of 2021. Well, that's my point. That was like two years ago. Generally, I like to read through something and then uh, get to it. All right, uh, let me make sure I catch up on a few super chats here. Uh, we have Ink Dog 98, or Link Dog 98, Dog Dog 98. I got you eventually, 499. Leah for offense, you can keep your seal <laughs> squad intact. I'm convinced they don't test their game. Yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, this year has definitely been that theme. Leviathan and this and the list of other stuff that was going on. Um, oh, yeah, Cal Kess is another one. Oh, yeah, Cal Kess won't be used if Ray and before you get the whole online forces your team going, that's where his primary best use is. All right, well, um, all right, you know, let's just do it. Let's do it. Let me get your chat open on the side so the world can see you. The live JKCK read was hype. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Forgot about that one. All right. Why not put gas back on defense? See, less dismantled uh, because of another video I put out earlier this week or last week. Gas can get two man by <laughs> Super Commando and Guard. So, you know, I, I don't know if that feels any better. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. The game's a. It's been a funny year for new counters and teams being developed. Uh, better to Foley Zeta Reva or save one for Swola. Oh, Foley Zeta Reva. If you care, I mean, uh, yeah, all in on Reva. Reva is the far superior character over uh, Swolo. Assuming you have Inquisitors. Thank you, Jared Hicks, for that one day nine. And then we'll do one, one, one more. Cole Harris, five dollars. Hey man, do you think uh, Kellerman Beck is a potential JMK lifter on accident? Ooh, I suspect he will be Galactic Republic. I, I wouldn't call it lifter. It's not a conquest character, but it could amplify him. I have no idea what direction you're going. It could just be something for Jedi Knight Cal to use. Could be something for Jedi Master Luke. Jedi are such a versatile faction. It's kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to see. So while we'll have to wait and see. We'll have, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Grogu's coming, or IG, what is it? IG-12 is coming first, then Keller and Beck, but I'm, next week we're getting something. What about the free-to-play count? We'll get there. We'll get there. Everyone's, I'm never going to hear the end of it. There's raid dudes. There's raid dudes. So let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live right now in front of trillions upon trillions watching the beautiful power of the best defensive team of all time. Galactic Legends lay a tear on my whole entire roster apart. Aside from that, we have a nice little break from uh, that chaos. We have here live with the Kyber Empire. Everyone say hello, 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 hello. They're like, God, oh, you gotta check out the raid news. <laughs> We got brand new hot deets being dropped on us right now, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. 
uh looking to our forward to this new raid obviously there's been a lot of problems that i had leading into this new raid such as basically the crate dragon raid becoming obsolete they want me to read this kind of with the raw takes so i'll be honest i'm kind of going in with uh only half a brain but that's kind of what i'm operating on half the time anyways all right with all that set aside let's get into it new raid news speeder bike pursuit let's just see i i, I normally i read all this first i'm like all right guys give you the summary you're just as close as I am right now. Maybe that's maybe for the better. We'll see how it goes. Welcome to the Speeder Bike Pursuit Raid preview post. We kind of had one of these right before the Crate Dragon Raid came out. I'm surprised they're not even calling this a State of the Galaxy. Just, I really don't understand the, the communication direction for this year with no more road aheads for this year. I was expecting a State of the Galaxy for this. I, yeah, I'm a little confused. I mean, they're still communicating, but I don't know. It is what it is. The new raid will be releasing soon. My prediction is this month, and we wanted to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect and encounter as you take on this new event in the woods. New speeder bike pursuit raid. And this is in red, so you know it's important. First things first, everything you know about Star Wars Galaxies has changed in this raid. I gotta say, me, if you've ever done being a community manager, you got the, you're gonna have the YouTube thing down pat, man. You know, capital letters, bold uh, text, red text, you got it all down. Would you like to know more? Hit me. You, you, you got, you piqued my interest. Before we dive into the post, our lead designer wanted to take you down memory lane and provide some insight on the inspiration for the speeder bike pursuit raid. Uh, yeah, I think we've already read this in the past, if I recall correctly. This is just the inspiration. Here you go. Feel free to pause it and read it. I'll wait for you. I'll give you a little thumbs up. So you can, all right, there you go. All right, moving on. I want to get to this. I want to know what is different. I want to read this line though. We're excited to bring you this brand new way to play with your collection, expanding upon our systems and utilizing them in new and interesting ways. So what's different? How are units defeated? Yeah, because if you remember a couple days ago, we saw the data mines that showed all the units on speeder bikes. I saw some of the most cursed images of Ewoks on speeder bikes, C-3PO on speeder bikes, and people having uh, issues grasping onto the lever. But anyways, how you earn points, the synergies, how mods impact the battle, what your abilities do. If I recall correctly, the abilities you're used to aren't gonna happen here. I think they're gonna like re-kit some of the toys to work in this raid. So it's, it's, it's a little different, we'll find out. CG Miller wrote, some of our favorite teams we tested with were from a variety of factions, mixing and matching to make some of the most of the raid bonuses other things to consider units basic and special abilities are different no revives no assist no bonus moves uniques are altered to fit the raid and i guess this is why they kind of started off with this that everything you know about galaxy is going to change we i think we've already got a little bit of insight from that a few months ago but now we get to the meat and potatoes with the gravy on the side when you first enter the raid things are going to look immediately different from a normal, normal battle in Star Wars Galaxy Wars, instead of having health and protection bars, you'll see each enemy has four different icons above their head. Though these icons are indicative of the various ways a character can be defeated in the raid. If, I, if I'm understanding what they're saying, I think it's kind of like what we saw in the Galactic Legend Leia event, if I recall. They'll start with the maximum value and abilities remove stacks from that total, so it seems like it's kind of on parity in concept to the Leia raid, where, not the Leia raid, the Leia unlock for the galactic legend once a stack uh, type reaches zero the character will be defeated so it seems to be like that i'm assuming it's gonna be a lot more complicated it was very easy in the leia unlock event i'm assuming this will be a little bit more challenging on the player side you'll see two icons at the start of the battle players can only be defeated with one stack type but they gain some additional icons throughout the battle that serve to increase their survivability manipulate the difficulty of incoming waves of enemies or allow them to dodge incoming attacks from enemy units so again expanded much more than what we saw it is important to know that these stacks will fluctuate throughout the battle. Imperial Troopers, for example, may also use their stacks of evasion to deal additional stacks of damage to enemy characters. In addition, jam can be consumed by Ewoks. I just, I, I, I can't get the mental image out of my head of the Ewok on the speeder bike. I, I never thought I'd see that in my life. Uh, can be consumed by Ewoks to deal additional damage of timber or will be consumed to a lower the difficulty of the incoming wave. Please note that it doesn't affect the next wave as that has already spawned in, but will affect every other wave. So the amount of jam present on your squad when you defeat wave one will result in adjustments to the difficulty of wave two. That's a lot of stuff saying that, yeah, this is not gonna work like your crate Dragon raid, like the other raids. It's, it's gonna be like that lay event. We'll probably pull it up again to kind of jog the memory a little bit. You'll earn points by defeating an enemy. There is no final boss in this raid. So defeat as many as you can. So it's just like, uh, so there you'll be, all right. So you, the more enemies you defeat, 
the more points you get so yeah again this is very much different than our traditional here's the big baddie knock them dead crate dragon raid treya grievous the aat tank the rancor they're moving beyond that so it's kind of like you know uh i don't know the, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is like you know you know call of duty zombies where you take on waves of zombies and the, the more you beat the higher the score you get i'm guessing additionally you're earning points by mitigating the amount of stacks move on your own characters through evading attacks or repairing stacks of damage on your characters um you know i just kind of like initial oh man i i appreciate they're trying something different now, of course i'm going in with an open mind i'm curious to see what other people's take is gonna be because we oof. let me phrase it like this again this is thinking off the head just I'm not, I'm not even sure if i'm gonna call this criticism it's just something to keep in mind what if let's take for example Janet luke skywalker he is one of the requirements and let's take some uh, magmature i believe is one of the requirements for this raid as well Jedi luke is vastly superior over magma trooper it seems like the kit has no impact on this raid when, when you upgrade the characters you want to make Jedi luke the highest priority because that's the better character to invest in but what if because the Jedi luke kit it's not going to work here like you think it's going to be it's going to have some own unique buttons and abilities that we are reading here what if Jedi luke's like the worst character for this raid and that in turn makes people feel like they're forced to gear up magma trooper who might be the best in the raid again i'm just shooting from the hip there's obviously nuances i'm not understanding but something i'm just like it's a it's a first level concern that i have with this and we'll probably see more kind of going down here so uh we got the recruit scout trooper commander shadow scout and again we saw all this in the deed of mine yesterday and if you don't know what i'm talking about there's a card gear can you put it like right up there somewhere we're going over all the data mine stuff the use the playable characters the speeder bikes i mean you did see the shadow scouts so that was kind of cool to see I, i'd like to play with the shadow scout please and thank you here are the enemy abilities that we have here so yeah this is very much so kind of like what we saw you had the site i think they only had side swipe damage inside the uh, the layer event i don't remember timber uh being a part of that uh let's see enrage when this character becomes enraged gain 50 speed remove all stacks evasion and jam from all enemies so again trying to get to a point where it's going to kill you off and make you leave the battle strengths uh it takes one to falling to defeat this character 50 stacks of damage all right so again this is basically a higher level of what we saw the enrage mechanic scout trooper let's see is there a difference here so let's see this guy he has hot pursuit self-repair hot pursuit self-repair does it remove the same amount four stacks four stacks okay this one has a different ability calculated grenade drop move four stacks of damage from all enemies all right then we have branch barrage so this commander's got a little bit more in his arsenal remove eight stacks of damage from the target enemy and four stacks of damage from all enemies you know what i want to do right now uh, in case this might be a little confusing because it's, it's again this is a completely different thing like the scout trooper that we're seeing here it's not the same scout trooper let's go hop on over real quick to the game show you what this is looking like just so it makes maybe a little bit more sense just on a functional level here now i can't quite remember which tier it was was it uh da, 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 da. no that's not the one which tier was it where they had you speeding along here nope that's not it, it was i feel like it was one of the, the ultimate tiers wasn't it uh, they were a path what else do we have here bausch leia job and hut can't be defeated all right it's one of these there we go that's the one so let's just hop in real quick shirt we're looking at just so maybe it makes a bit more sense before we get too carried away in here yeah it's the last two yeah 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 cg posted kits is equals word vomit yeah it's a lot of word vomit so in case maybe you missed the unlock event this is i'm guessing maybe the cutscene you're gonna see uh, you know just like the crate dragon raid has its own cutscene every time you start a new one and there we go so we there we go see boom right there we see the calculated grenade drop same exact name the self-repair the hot pursuit abilities and the game plan i don't remember how to play it. all i remember you can literally just click buttons and you basically win last i remember i just i think this is literally what i did eventually i just and eventually i won so i'm hoping that the raid will have a little bit more uh challenge involved because this again i'm fine with this for the way it was designed for the galactic legend look i just i somehow won i don't know what i'm doing because you don't want to drop tickets i'm assuming the difficulty is going to be a lot more severe inside of this new raid with the variety of tiers that i have but the point being is i have leia i have luke this isn't jedi knight luke it's, it's just just random buttons i'm kind of clicking on here so yeah forex speed is wild yeah <laughs> it looks so pretty it looks like they're just hopping around here so i just wanted to put that out there first just so you see the context of what they're talking about because again this is really nothing like we've experienced before unless you played this particular raid all right get you guys back on over here and continue where we left off so uh, i'm just gonna kind of leave it at that all the abilities really aren't gonna make sense it's not like you could sit in your mind and be like oh well 
you know, the crate dragon raid, you're already able to theory craft how the Mandalorian is going to work, how the hut cartel is going to work, because you can read the current abilities and understand how it interacts with the raid. This is kind of a completely new thing. Available, and here we go, the available characters and their new abilities. And this is what I'm saying here. This is exactly what I was asking earlier on in the video. So character name, here's all the playable characters, uh, basic abilities. So they're all going to have the, the, a, okay. So it's, a, it's all right. They're not the same thing there, but all right. Basically they're all going to have the cannon, then different specials here. So let's say I, I want to go back to my example, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. Where's my bro at? Get alongside that one. Like what if uh, magma trooper who was down here? What if divert attention is the better? character in this raid and is the better ability it's like oh man i gotta get a magma trooper and janet luke sucks that's why i have hesitation about this so when we're upgrading characters we're keeping in mind their overall viability in the game it's gonna be kind of weird for someone to convince us i should upgrade this character even though it sucks in the rest of the game magma trooper is not the worst it's he's all right but like tebow what if tebow is the best character for this raid and i i have a feeling it could maybe end up that way so that's what i don't like because the raid if, it, if it's falling to create dragon unless something changed in this post I, the raid's gonna go away at some point with the new raid next year if they're going with two a year or whatever the case might be so i'm just putting it out there that's kind of where i'm, I'm looking at uh looks like lando's the only one of four different abilities Land no that's leia okay leia's got the alt ability it's going down i'm yelling Timber! all right i'll see myself out the door all right granted ability so here we go at first glance the tisco rework is a lot of information to absorb but it really boils down to the idea that the stats granted by the leader and unique abilities as well as the mods the player have equipped will provide additional effects for your abilities man let me see this all right so if you are a faction bonus of a rebel when this character uses the base ability they repair two stacks of damage and all allies all right so it's kind of like you know uh, each faction had their own benefits in the crate dragon raid similar thing here this character gains a stack of shield for every stack repair above max on self grant ability faction bonus imperial this character starts a metal five stacks of jam where's the peanut butter that's all i want to know I, I, I don't eat jam sandwiches. Anyways, when this character uses the basic ability, they remove bonus stacks of damage to target enemy equal to number of stacks of evade on all allies. Then this character loses all stacks of evade. He walks again. Really, right now it's not making a ton of sense to me. I gotta play with it. This is this, these aren't how the characters work normally. When this character uses the basic ability, they remove bonus stacks of timber to target enemy equal to the number of stacks of jam on all allies. Whenever an enemy is defeated with timber, all Ewok allies gain two stacks of jam. I don't know. I'm like, I'm still running. Okay, let's let me let me hold up for a moment. Let's look at the mods. Oh man, this is gonna. Jeez, this is gonna be. <laughs> this might be complicated to explain. I just want to put out there. I feel like there is still a general misunderstanding of how like mods affect ships. I keep trying to explain it and i understand especially when new folks come in and you're interactive mods for the first time you, you assume if i make the character fast the ship goes fast and that's not really the case i have a feeling this is going to cause confusion as well but of course it'll be hopefully demystified over time a bit better but oh my gosh no 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 i don't want to have accuracy oh gosh hold on let's just okay let, hold on. let me just read this real quick hold on okay let me back up I'm assuming this means if you have health mods, you provide stacks of shield based on the character's max health at the start of the battle. Shield will be consumed to block stacks of incoming damage. All right. So if you have zero to 10,000, you block five stacks of damage. Every additional 10,000 up to a cap of 200,000 health. This is like Galactic Legend territory. You block an additional one stack of damage. At cap, this results in 24 stacks of shield. I wish I could say, oh yeah, oh, yeah that, that makes sense. I mean, it, it does, but it, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's, it's it's definitely a new layer of complication uh gosh this sounds like it's gonna require maybe a lot of remodding more so than crate dragon raid i don't know protection same as above for a combined total 48 stacks of shield at max uh oh man what if no hold on so i'm confused is this protection it's its own individual category so is this thing if i have physical accuracy or is this all the same thing here i need the I need the Kyber Club. To, like, uh, this is what's nice when you have like 12 billion brains on here. The accuracy. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm understanding this right. I think. <laughs> I hope to goodness there's not going to be a, an accuracy arrow meta. Like, please no. Please no. Accuracy is generally seen as the worst mod in game. Uh, the farm with limited inventory but imagine if like everyone's got to push for accuracy arrows and again 
if this raid goes extinct like the crate dragon raid i believe is going to go extinct with the new raid coming they only want one raid to rule them all as i said many months ago these mods kind of go to waste ends but if you have physical accuracy under five percent no effect if you're 25 percent and over remove six additional stacks of side swipe with removing side swipe. and i can't really quantify how important is that right now oh so this right here I, i'm not happy about this but you know there's gonna be that one person who's got like only accuracy arrows like yes yes it's my time to shine oh uh, I, I i i'm not liking this just from a contextual standpoint so we'll, we'll have to wait and see in application what it's like critical avoidance okay if you are 100 percent or higher removed eight stacks of additional timber and when removing timber oh boy yeah this is a lot of mod, mod swapping is already a big pain in the butt i hope they have something to maybe make mod swapping easier if you don't have hot utils yeah your life's a lot more complicated uh yeah when's the mod loadout stream gonna be oh man physical critical chance all right critical chance isn't that out of the ordinary 75 percent or higher 25 percent chance to reduce an allies cooldown by one to start a battle oh man oof again i don't understand how important it is but i'm, I'm just making the assumption that some characters are gonna need to have higher accuracy some characters are gonna need the high critical chance critical damage um if you're over 20 to 20 percent this is all about turn meter control critical damage okay you know plenty of people with critical damage out there that's not uh, too out of the ordinary attack damage so looking at offense if you're over 10,000, which that's that's kind of a tough threshold to hit and i'm assuming which 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 attack damage are they looking at are they looking at any of them there's a uh the physical special i'm a little confused if you're over 10,000, remove 12 stacks of damage when removing damage okay <laughs> a lot of repeat words here armor 70 percent or higher block two incoming stacks of damage all right that's kind of a simple calculation armor if you have defense mods you know you need to have like a good degree of defense mods but again defense is not the worst but it's not like the speed damage are kind of the biggest forte of mods out there so I, i'm really curious how this is going to impact the mod economy i really am physical evasion oh man please no i don't want <laughs> gain three stacks of evasion when gaining evasion I don't know why. Gain three stacks of evasion when gaining evasion. I don't even know if that. It, 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 to my mind, it just sounds like circular talk. Health steal, 40% or higher. Repair three stacks of damage, removing 16 or more damage. Potency, if you have 80% or more, remove an additional eight stacks of distract when removing distract. Tenacity, 100% or higher. Keep five stacks of evasion after evading. Okay. Um yeah again there's so many questions like what characters are going to be better in this raid when they're trash in the other game modes are we going to have to gear them up are we going to go out of our way to go for these bonds i don't know a lot of uncertainty going i have a weird suspicion you know i, I appreciate it again they're trying something new maybe we'll end up loving it but i have a feeling if this doesn't like it reminds me remember rock paper scissors they tried something new okay i'm glad you guys tried something new you know you gotta think outside the box they never did it again I wonder if this might be one of those never do it again. Maybe they'll do it. Maybe they like that people are going out of the way and farming mods just for the hell of it, even though they're not useful other places. Raid modifiers and cadence update. What do we got? All right. Much like the Crate Dragon Raid Hunt, you can apply modifiers to adjust the difficulty. So that's nothing new. So if you have gear 12, I think it's like tier one you could do. If you have Relic 8, tier seven is the highest you can do. And I'm assuming though, I'm assuming Relic 8 the highest tier. I could be wrong. As a reminder, don't be afraid to try more modifiers yeah that's nothing new this is we shouldn't be too uh, uh unfamiliar with the modifiers so that's uh, we kind of get the general mechanics of that with the speeder bike raid you're allowed eight attempts instead of the five i believe they said a while ago they're going to reduce the frequency of the raid so maybe this will be okay but it's really hard to get guilds to participate two times a week five times every time <laughs> to do the crate dragon raid so eight attempts instead of five maybe it's quick who knows um to accommodate the three character team size so it's like a 3v3 type of thing additionally with the speeder by grade will be adjusted there we go the cadence to allow a longer time between runs but the re rewards have been adjusted to stay consistent we'll have to verify that you know i know there was a lot of debate with moving from the old raid to the crate raid there wasn't parity on everything so we'll have to wait and see make sure that's the case this cadence is being introduced to relieve pressure on guild to provide feedback based on their experiences with the kdh cadence things to note the launch cost will be doubled to compensate for this okay and ticket cap for guilds is being increased from 150k to 210k okay that all makes sense uh raid modifiers okay i'm just gonna read the highest tier here so again different tiers with the modifiers let's just go to the highest one level six 
Enemies gain 25 speed and inflict additional 8 stacks of damage with each ability. Every 2 turns an enemy takes, they repair 5 stacks of damage, 4 stacks of distract, and 4 stacks of side swipe on themselves. The number of stacks required to defeat each enemy is increased by 100%. These effects do not stack or prior modifiers. Man, I just like, oh gosh. I mean, again, we're kind of just going for the raw take here. This is my first time of going through it. The crate Dragon Raid, I was really excited about it. Like, I love the crate Dragon moment in Mandalorian. I do love the, the speeder bike part of Endor on um, Return of the Jedi. But like, I'm reading this. It's like, I, I'm not feeling the excitement like, like I, I had of the crate Dragon Raid. And maybe it's just because I'm not using the abilities on the characters that I'm used to and all these other mods thing going on eight attempts. I don't know. I'm, again, I'm, I'm keeping open mind. I'm not like this is trash. I need to play with it. I might love it, but I'm just like, I'm not feeling the same crate Dragon Raid thing that I have. Yeah, you feel confused as Ramho in the chat? Yeah, it's a, I, I understand. <laughs> We're all learning this together. Big three on earning points, defeating enemies, evading attacks, repairing your units. All right. So here's the scoring breakdown that they have here. The feeder recruit 8,000. So it's again, I'm, it just feels like an arcade type of game. You know, it literally feels like an arcade game that you might might play on a cabinet. The more you kill, the higher the score you get. So whatever, I don't know. Do people still play arcade games? I got an arcade machine. I absolutely love it, but I don't know. I guess I'm kind of like on that teeter-totter or boomer. I don't know. Listen, it's not about me. It's about the raid today. Repair damage, low score. So defeating a shadow scout will get you the highest amount of points. So again, it's like, you know, it sounds like a fun little arcadey type of game. What is impacted by randomness? RNG. So I, I was kind of wondering about this too. Like the Crate Dragon Raid, there was a bit of RNG. Like when someone's devoured, can you remove all the stacks to get your guy back? And sometimes you, you miss it by one and you have to restart. It sounds like there's not any RNG randomness involved. And maybe that's a bad thing, good thing, but they, they're saying the main things impacted by chance in this raid are evasion. That's probably what it is. Cooldown reduction. Yeah, because there's a a chance you might reduce cooldowns and enemy targeting increasing attacks of evasion will give enemy or characters a maximum chance of 40 percent to avoid an incoming attack affecting both the survivability of your characters and the damage output from the imperial trooper characters cooldown reductions both the stance of a chance effect and randomly targeted effect oh man but at the flip side wouldn't that be annoying you just want to be done at the raid you want to be done for the week you gotta do your eight attempts like come on it's not reducing the cooldown i gotta get some more physical accuracy on my character <laughs> I don't know. This can mean higher stacks of jam, more evasion, or repair, or just extra chance to focus on specific defeat types. I don't know. Uh, I, I am I am very curious about this last part here. This is the most important part for me. Guild and personal breakdown. Rewards for guild and personal tracks have been updated to reflect the raid cadence, so assuming it's going to be doubled. As stated before, Mark Three will move from Crate Dragon Hunt to the new featured raid. And this is why if you haven't been keeping up and you're like, what does he mean? The crate Dragon Raids becoming obsolete. It'll still be there for guilds that maybe can't get the participation need for the raid for the new raid, but you're missing out on one of the prime things, the Mark III currency, extremely important to get the, the Relic 8s, the 9s, and all that fun stuff into your roster. A speeder bike raid, uh, the, so it goes into the feature raid. And with that, we have increased the Mark I and Mark II in the crate Dragon Hunt. All right, so, okay, you know, I guess that's something. You know, Mark 1, Mark 2, you know, you can get a lot more. Mark 2 is really important for that gear 12 economy stuff. So, you know, that's an upside. I don't know. I, I, I'm i still not on board of this idea of making the previous raid obsolete, quote unquote, and moving it to the new raid. I get you need an incentive for guilds to move forward, but I would be, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I think if you're introducing a new raid, maybe a different exclusive reward is better so people can still focus on crate raid when they're working towards their relegate building and the maybe the new <laughs> the downside is what i'm proposing i guess is saying hey give us relic 10 i don't know if i want that either i don't know i'm gonna pull up the chat here see what you guys are thinking while we're getting to the last part here um yeah so i and i'm trying to think i mean they could still introduce relic 10 and make it mark 3 exclusive there's just so much we don't know about there's just so much we don't know about um they couldn't they could easily still introduce a relic 10 and if you're not getting mark 3 you're screwed so they could still do that uh okay speeder bike raid max enabled currency okay so 16,950 12,500 and you get 10,000 okay crate dragon raid um pre-speeder bike raid max Rittable currency whoa, 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 whoa. hold on i'm confused mark the remove from crate dragon hunt to the new feature raid oh okay it's it's pre pre so this is what you currently get all right okay yeah 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 this makes sense but be, afterwards it's going down to zero but they're increasing the mark one mark two so at least you're getting you're not taking everything from you they're compensating for it thank you for reading our speeder bike pursuit preview post we are extremely excited to get this new raid into your hands and hear your feedback um 
All right. Okay. Well, there's still a few lingering questions unless I glanced over it. Number one, I'm assuming that the the difficulty modifiers. Let me double check. Yep. There we go. That while Relic Nine will provide a power advantage, the way the Enrage works will encourage folks to try different compositions. Hold on. Hold on a second. And are they are they confirming? Are they confirming that this is still going to be Relic Eight? I'm not seeing it. I'm trying to see right now if it's still Relic 8 for the highest tier. Did they move it to Relic 9 all of a sudden? I mean, I'm seeing they mentioned Relic 9, but I'm not sure if they're saying Relic 9 is the new Relic required for level 6. Maybe I glanced over it. I don't know, but I'm not. that's one of my number one concerns, making sure we're not doing Relic 9 minimum for level 6. Hopefully it keeps to Relic 8. They don't see what the levels are. All right, just making sure I didn't miss anything. All right, well, but overall... Um, my, my opinion still kind of stands on how I feel about the Mark III leaving the Crate Dragon Raid. It kind of feels bad. You invest all in this Crate Dragon Raid. It's like, oh, all right. I mean, not to say like the stuff you invest in is bad. Mandalorians are good. Tuscans are good at least. It just, uh, but I feel like it's going to kind of double with this new raid because there's going to be another raid after this. And you're going to invest in, who knows, physical evasion mods or something. Uh, accuracy might be important. And then all of a sudden, the new raid comes out like, oh, we're not going to do this again. I hope you guys enjoyed all those mods there. They didn't tell us for crate either. Yeah, so <sighs> yeah, so a lot more question answers. My initial reaction is I don't feel the same excitement like I did for the crate dragon raid, just mainly because of all this shenanigans. And I need to see the implications. Maybe Tebow's going to be the best character. Janite Luke might be the worst. And, uh, you know, I can see from a spreadsheet perspective, they want to get you upgrading Tebow because you all got Luke already, but not Tebow. So I got some concerns. Uh, about all that so i'm gonna pass the ball over to you guys and i guess to wrap up i did not see anything in regards to confirmation but if i recall the crate dragon raid when we got a post similar to this we saw the raid get released shortly after could be next week but uh, it's even like if this is showing up this month we probably could see this raid especially the data mines that were pulled the other day with all the assets good chance you might see this raid later on this month uh but how's the kyber club feeling don't give them the idea <laughs> we're gonna find out we're gonna go through this together uh this is kind of the first time when reading something it's like i don't quite 100 understand a lot of the implications and the way the raid's gonna work maybe that's a good thing it's a new challenge of some sort but my i, I have this weird feeling this is gonna be like rock paper scissors like with the the ray supreme leader kylo ren event and he might not do it again it might not go over well and we might be stuck with it for several months until the new raid goes on anyways we're gonna finish up our grand arenas thank you so much for stopping by i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of interesting thoughts in regards to this I'm kind of neutral at the moment mm, with a lot of concerns that I presented today. But one thing I'm not concerned about is how it's great to be in the Empire today. Are you doing the honors? Are you going to do the honors? Anyone anyone here going to do the honors, please? You guys make a great audience, let me tell you. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know. It's like normally when I read through this stuff, like when I'm like by myself, I, I, I churn it over for like 30, 40 minutes, you know, kind of like, all right, okay, I understand. So like, I'm, I'm like sitting here, it's like, I don't know. I'm not feeling the same hype like I had for the, the crate Dragon Radio. The mod thing was a concern of mine. The, uh, the specific abilities for each character, you know, I'm going to keep my mind open. It could be good. It could. It might be the best raid of all time. It could very well be the very best raid of all time. And all of our concerns are going to be squashed, but it's going to take a bit before I actually get all the way over there. Uh, Gary, you going to, you going to like unfreeze me, bud? There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's get back to the grand arena in the main thing. Gary, what are you doing, man? No, Gary, no, no. What is, what are you doing with my hollow projector? Why is it? All right, Gary, I'm giving you one more chance to do this right or don't do it at all. All right, there we go. We're back up and running. All right. Well, we'll uh, let the people of the beautiful Star Wars Galaxy Galaxy community weigh in. I gave my two cents. I guess I'll find out the rest of it. All right. Let's get back to the Grand Arena in the meantime. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do the free-to-play Grand Arena. I think it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> that Leia whipped me today. I'm actually, uh, gosh, I don't even know if I, even if I would have... I don't know, like, I, I'm like, I'm looking back at that battle. It's like, I don't even know if I would have just stayed on Leia. 
if I would have won. Like, all Leah needs to do is get her ultimate once, and everyone's coming back there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna... I'll come back. I'll try throwing Sith Eternal and stuff, but I think it's pretty safe to say the team I told you guys was gonna be a problem turned out to be a pretty big problem, and I didn't even make a dent on the team. Let's go hop over to the free-to-play. Let's go knock that out. Make sure we give it the proper amount of attention. If we got time left over, we still have Supreme Leader Kyle Ren. I still got Sith Eternal. Maybe something, uh, we could pull something out of there. Let's do it. Let's go. Work fast. Work furiously here. Ah, uh, Yada with the fight ours. I don't read mod for crate. What makes them think I want to farm accuracy mods for Teemo? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I have to remod every single raid attack. Because my guild kind of expects everyone to at least put out seven, eight, nine million damage. And it's kind of hard to hit those score thresholds. Unless you're remodding. Um... Yeah, so I, I have to remod it for it, but uh, man. Uh. I mean, I'm trying to think. I, I, on the plus side, oh man, I, that just sounds like a pain. How many, I mean, I know there's going to be super nerds that are going to love to sit there and be like, oh, uh, I got my accuracy to 108.32798%. Uh, like, there's going to be someone that likes that, but I, like, I'm trying to think from a, you know, a casual person. That just sounds like an absolute madman. Oh yeah, we got to get some banners. Oh yeah, let's do a quick, uh, yeah, let's do, here, hold on, all right, we'll do one more banner real quick. Let's make sure we get the 10 banners at least. Uh, I don't know. Some of you guys are thinking Treya lead. Again, we have nothing to lose at this point. Let's do it. So let's throw that in there. Throw that, throw that. Uh, and again, this is three. This is like the Jedi Master Luke problem. You're putting, uh, I'll say two teams because Savage could be with Trey, but it, some could argue this is three teams because you could put Savage somewhere else. Let me see what we can throw on here real quick. City is solo, yeah. Remod is weak sauce. I, I I don't want to admit it, but I have done a few crate raids without remodding, and it's like I feel like I only get like half the score. All right, what do we want to throw here? Um, hell yeah, give me that 200% defense. Let's do it. Let's do it. C lead. So the reason why people are throwing out the Treya lead concept is because you could reduce their damage a little bit. Yeah, I, 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 again, I ran C lead. C lead's not really great. I mean, I might get one kill off, and that's really it. See, all right, we'll just see, Lena. Uh, all right, just get just get the battle locked, and it's uh, I, it, this is not gonna work. But let's just, let's just do it. I mean, from my time doing this, it feels like at best, at best, I might get one set of turtle insta kill off, but then it takes forever for him to get the next round of it. Uh, yeah, just do basic gear, I guess. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can try to link up you. Ooh, we're gonna... Mm, eh, I misplayed there. I should have linked up just Han and Chewie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Just take it. Let's do a bop this spell. Unfortunately, Nihilus does a whole lot of nothing here. I um, can't manipulate cooldowns on them or myself. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll get to an insta kill. All right, let's get this Wookiee to attack on a turn. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ooh, isolate. Ooh. Oh man, that's an interesting proposition. You know what? I don't know. Isolate you. Can't manipulate cooldown, so it really doesn't matter. Just give it over to Scion. All right. All right. Keep Drogon out of things. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Just keep focusing on Leia. Try to mitigate her ultimate as much as possible. Get the. Uh, I don't know why I'm. <laughs> I'm so used to reducing cooldowns on Nihilus. He can't do it. All right. Let's throw a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Okay. Give me an ability block. Hey, we're in the green. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And probably should. This is like the same thing as Jedi Knight Revan. I should have just. Just everything I like. I, like, don't get distracted by Drogon. I know Drogon looks good or whatever. Isolate should have won on Leia. Just like the Mark should have won on Leia. So uh, we'll see how this goes. See how this goes. Maybe I, I have another buff to spell. Likely not at the moment. Drop that basic here for the moment. Okay. All right. Oh, jeez. Got absolutely nukefied there. All right. Savage is still hanging. All right. We're almost ultimate. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Here, do uh, just clear off that foresight. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go. Come on. Let's get the big man out here. All right. The big man's coming. I'll probably get again one insta kill off. I should have linked someone else. Should have isolated Leia. Let's see what we can do. All right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Come on. All right. All right. Uh, if I have the opportunity, if I have the opportunity, I might relink here. We'll see. We'll see. Because I can't kill off Leia. She's going to hit ultimate. Let's do basic for right now. I should have linked up Han and Chewie 100%. 100%. 
The problem is I'm likely not going to get another insta kill. It's like my only chance. Eh, it doesn't matter. Just, yeah, just do it. I got one kill. Could have had two. But from what I can see, it's hard to get the second round of insta kill. All right, there goes my team. All right. So, yeah, this is the part that takes forever. So let's just put it on auto because you can't reduce your cooldowns of all the shock shenanigans. So you just got to wait 16 turns or whatever it is. <laughs> all right, so he's got to wait. Just let him do his thing. All right, just go. Keep going. Okay, just maybe we'll get an insta kill. I don't know how much longer Niles is away from that. All right, he's eating up the hits. Okay. All right. I kind of, there we go. See, now throw the isolate over. That's the smarter move. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, just throws that over there. It's like we're still like 15 turns away. So even with the slight misplay, it's just, yeah, he's, it's, it's like, it's hard to get two insta kills when you're not reducing cooldowns at all. Let's see, just, oh, no insta kill. All right, no insta kill. There we go. There goes that guy. All right, yeah, at this point, you just, there we go. Just, just keep going. Just keep doing your thing, man. Just keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it feels impossible to get two ultimates. Here we go, another ultimate coming in. Gucci Man's probably not going to survive this much longer. And... And he's gone. I mean, so minus the misplay, I could have had Han and Chewie dead. I didn't notice Han was out of stealth there. Attack, the scanners were a little grimy, had a little smudge on the on the lens there. But yeah, it's just... The, I, I, I tried that at least a dozen times. It's just, it, it's hard to get two two insta kills at once there yeah all right let me go and uh drop a spirit of car maybe i can get through it maybe not let's see what we can do here do that let me go ahead and do, 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 do. But i just want to make it abundantly clear abundantly clear i know i misplayed the, the han thing he still would have lost i did that battle 10 times in the day one zero out of ten you just it's you get the one insta kill cool and you can maybe come into someone else han and chewie should have been dead i'll grant you that but the i've never had in five minutes with this data cron this team cop gets to the tunnel to do more than one ultimate he can't reduce cooldowns anymore all right let me see da, 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 da. We, you know, let's get armor in here see what we can do maybe we can get through the rest of this would have liked to have on and chewy gone but it be what it is it is what it be and let me see what we got here i don't know yet looks great i have yeah that one there we go sounds fantastic let's do it for yeah, so far, we're on Galactic Legend number four. <laughs> Galactic Legend number four in this one. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and give this on over. It really doesn't matter. Uh, yes. There we go. Come on. Three stacks. We have the three stacks. All right. Three stacks. Let's just go ahead and do a buff this spell. All right. Can't reduce cooldowns. Oh, don't die armor. All right, that's fine. Come on, armor. We got to get a turn. This will not reduce cooldowns. Let's just uh, let's focus attention here for right now. There we go. Let's see if we can maybe get armor to speed things up a little bit here. All right, there we go. Three stacks. I got what I wanted. All right, there we go. Okie dokie. Let's get to work. Uh, a lot of dodges. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, then it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can't wait to get that stun on Drogon. I just can't wait. Oh, there goes Watt. It's fine. Everyone did their job. Just, I tried to get what I got with Watt armor, and we'll get the armor shred here. There we go. Man, I feel like I'm doing, like, no damage at the moment. Pass it on over. All right, just can't reduce cooldowns. People seem to forget that part. Mm, all right, he's gone. Give me a stun. I don't know. Just anywhere. Give it an R2 so we can stop going under stuff. Holy cow. That was a whole lot of nothing damage right there. All right, you're on your own, bud. On your own. Siphon over here. Let's go. Okay. Man, yeah, you're doing, like, no damage, dude. Don't worry, though. They're compensating for our lack of damage. Don't you worry. There we go. And here we go. Timber! Ooh, counterattack. All right, there we go. Come on, keep hitting him back. It's fine. Just give me... There we go. Come on, get that full ultimate. Hurry up. Full ultimate. Let's do it. Hit her back. Yeah, there we go. We got the ultimate. Don't die. Don't die. We can't be critically hit, which is awesome. And... All right, come on. Get the ultimate. All right, an ultimate. 
We're getting there. Holy moly, Maza Chully. All right, Han's almost gone again. She should have been dead last game. Mm, there we go. Just do one of these. Just keep ramping up. 21,000 damage on Han. Wow, that's fantastic. Come on, buddy. You're almost there. Come on. Come on. Do this again. There we go. Han's down for the count. Remember, just to clarify, this makes things a little complicated. One second, you're not doing any damage. Next second, you can actually do your damage. So just remember, you have uh, both those things working against you. All right, there we go. Come on. R2's almost down. There we go. Ooh, watch out for the ultimate. I think we'll, I think we'll be fine. I think we're going to be fine. You know what? I'm going to play it. So they just go ultimate again. All right, come on. Go away. Go away. All right, ladies and ultimate. They're going to heal all the way back up, which is fantastic. You know what? I'm just going to do this stun over here. Hey, oh, there we go. You got to double check where the turn meter's at. If it's over 50%, don't even bother. If they're under 50%, let's do it. Okay. All right, we're going to try the same thing of R2 in a moment here. There we go. All right. Nicely done. Okay, let's get that counterattack in. You're looking good, bud. Almost there. Drop me a bit. Just, there we go. Give it up. So how many teams is that? So we use Jedi Master Luke, Jedi Knight Revenant Luke, Cal Castus, Lord Vader, Maul, and Treya, Sith Eternal, Savage, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Armor Watt. That was 10 teams, y'all. It took 10 teams to take down the one. Damn, I'm so good at this game. Now, I'd be kind of curious if I could somehow win <laughs> the rest of this. No, I, I mean, uh, I'm assuming my opponent dropped a few battles on ships, but I just, like, what do I do now? I have nothing for Malgus. I mean, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, maybe I can get through. Trey, I can maybe like here. I can maybe cheese my way through it, you know. But everything I'm seeing moving forward is multi shot. Best case scenario, multi shot is very generous to even assume I can multi shot my way through the rest of this grand arena when I took 10 of the best teams and threw them on in there. <laughs> uh, let me just see if I can, uh, if this would even, been, oh, I have Padman defense. I, I couldn't even do it. All right, well, that's uh. <sighs> We're going to do like one or two battles after the Grand Arena just to, to try to get that practice in again and just... Um, I, I'm not even sure if I would have marked down Lee, if I would have won. I'm, I'm assuming I would have, but yeah, like one, one play and that's it. Like you don't get a lot of breathing room. All right, let's do it. He used four... No, 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 no. I, four teams, but the, the conglomerate, when you look at the totality of how many teams were needed to build up those four teams, it was 10 teams put together to beat the one team <laughs> all right what do we got here let's uh check out our opponent here round of applause though philip j fry all right yeah all right jedi warriors we got a jedi master kenobi um all right three gls 6.6 .6 million gp all right i mean uh what's the capital ship situation looking like here uh they, do they have echelon let me see first order Mmm, they might not have a first order or a executor counter at their disposal. Uh, I, you know, I'm not. Do they have Thai Defender? Thai Defender? Uh, no Thai Defender. Oof. All right, so they might not have an executor counter at their. Oh, there's four GLs. Ah, you know, it all just blends together at this point. Yeah, there we go. Four Galactic Legends. All right, it all just blends together. You get used to it, right? It's like, oh, yeah. They got more jails, but that's fine. We do have an advantage on the capital ship part of the game, which I'm guessing, I mean, they could just be leaving it there for later, uh, or they can't get through it. There you go. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 okay. I'm not seeing any jails in the front, which is nice. Uh, they should have put Master Kenobi down, but what am I to say? All right. So that's a that's basically a mini-ish GL team right there. Trey Savage, that's a pretty bonker team with some sort of cron on it. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. Hey, they got the accuracy. They're ready to go. Uh, Maldalorians, that could be problematic. Gas, okay. What was on that north side? Let's check real quick. Darth Revan, so Imperial Troopers want to earmark them. Oh, I hate when I see that. Qui-Gon on the Padme team. Wampa, that's all right. So let's earmark Wampa. Let's earmark Imperial Troopers for the top side. Padme, we'll kind of see what we got when we get there. All right. Let's see what we want to do down here. Let's handle the gas first. I, you know, this is the first time I think at 5v5 Grand Arena, I have a full rebel team up and running. First time. So we can, you know, 
I mean, it's not like fully optimized. 3PO and Chewie still kind of down a little bit. But he's going to get guard, so he should be okay. So this is, uh, yeah, first time 5v5 Grand Arena. We got the CLS team kind of 90% of the way there. Let's do it. Careful not to eat arc. Yeah, so here's the thing. On the main account, and when you have data crowns all that, usually I gun down fives. Just like, let's start working down five. But since there's no data crown, it's only relic four, not relic nine. It's like the strategy changes a little bit depending on what we're going here. So like I'm, I just don't know who I want to go for because of this situation. Cause I don't have the best CLS team. It's good, but not the best. I don't have like fully relic eight Wookiees. Like, do I just start working down fives to make sure it's a fast sack, uh, fast kill when it gets down? Check the gas speed. Uh, I would be surprised if it's crazy fast. Yeah, this is, this is kind of a, I mean, it's not like horribly slow, but it's not like the fastest out there. Yeah, so you can stun Rex. You can work down the Fi's protection. So when gas gets down, you, you quickly get through him. Because the other thing we got to be careful of is the Arc Trooper. This Arc Trooper could be cheese, and I accidentally might trigger five. We don't want to have that fast gas. It's not a fast gas. It's, you know, we, we, I think I'm, I should be faster. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, you know, I'm going to, I guess, you know, let's just do it. Let's get into it. Let's just do it. First time rolling this with this. Is, no relegate Wookiees, but I think we'll be fine. We're going to be fine, right, guys? We're, it's all going to be all right. Okay. Let's get in there. I'm still like, I'm, I'm kind of tossing the idea. Fives, Rex, gas, fives, Rex, gas. Like, those are the three avenues you can go about these battles. You think we should just go stun fives? I'm hoping my tenacity mods kick in. We're not going to get any days on us. All right, let's just go for fives. Let's work him down. There we go. So his protection's down. All right, cool. Looks like the tenacity mods are mostly working. Uh, CTP doesn't have tenacity, but he doesn't really need to do much except just exist. All right, ping him down. Cool. Let's get that bonus turn. Let's get the uh, fives down. That's why we generally like to work down that protection. I don't know if that was the best play. It's it's a relic four or five, so a lot easier to work through. Relic nine fives of heavy defense could be a massive issue. There we go. Almost down for the count. Let's go ahead and drop a fat Wookie dab. All right. Okay, let's see if we could try to... Um, our cooldowns got wrecked on C3PO, unfortunately. Give me some counters. Nicely done. All right, come on. We got to finish off this guy before Gas gets back up. Perfect timing. All right, there we go. All right, we got that down. Okay, hit him back, hit him back. One hit, two hit. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's just do it. Just do basics. There we go. Getting full advantage of that Relegate Han Solo for Jabba. Love it. I got to say, it feels nice having the CLS team locked in. I don't need to use Sith Eternal or anything like that anymore. All right. There we go. Nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. Okay, let's keep moving on. So I'm feeling like I'm probably gonna have to do a Sith Eternal or Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on this Trio team. But can I get through this Maul team without the need of it? Okay. So another new thing we have, we have Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. I mean, this all hinges on how fast is this other team. All right, definitely not fast there. Mm, how fast is Maul? Let's start off with that. That's the most important ticket. 273. All right, what do we have for the rest of the folks here? Because once Maul gets going, Kandorus shows up shortly after, and they usually get the combo rocket and rolling at that point. So overall, ooh, level one mods. Okay, so they're not fast. They're not fast. Okay. Yeah, no ISC. The mods are kind of bleh. I don't want to use Imperial Troopers here. I mean, we could use Imperial Troopers here and then just use something else on Darth Revan. We also got ourselves Star Killer, which uh, let's see, what were the Galactic Legends? They have, they had Ray, right? They had Ray, Jedi Master Kenobi. I mean, if they have Kenobi, I'm kind of GG's at this point. They could also throw Treya at this team. I don't know why I'm Star. For some reason, Star Killer's calling me. I feel like Star Killer is what's uh. Knock it at my heart. I would like to go into this. Yeah, I would like to see. I would not like. I would like to not use a Galactic Legend here. I don't know if I want to use Treya here. I feel like Star Killer should be an easy matchup. If they have Rain to back, eh, maybe shot myself in the foot a little bit here. Or I could just use Imperial Troopers and just move on. You do run into a risk. You get stuck behind damage unity though. All right, let's do it. Let's. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where's my boys? There we go. Bring out you. Let's go. Bring out. Who do I like to put on this team? 
the last two slots are really throwing whatever you got at that point this is all i truly need and get me a jedi uh you know let's pull jedi that we're not going to use somewhere else you know what just uh yeah give me old ben let's do it all right that's okay i mean you could i just i feel like it's a little humby i don't think it it's kind of on the overkillish side of things all right let's just throw this in jake here with jedi knight luke i i don't know again my jedi aren't like this this isn't like the best jedi team i i mean hermit yoda might be i don't know what my speeds are in hermit yoda jedi revan ignore his mods are it isn't ready for prime time yet jedi luke obviously is not modded for speed hermit yoda yeah I, i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it yeah i'm not feeling it right now yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we'll probably use them summer, but just I don't feel like this is the battle. All right, let's go for it. Uh, all right, Gia, you killed your viewers at this raid talk. Man, 2.5 billion viewers means I killed my audience. Man, that's rough. I guess we fell off, Gary. Oh, uh, gosh. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. On that note, though, let's go ahead and throw in the Star Killer lineup. All right, let's rock and roll, baby. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Hit you. You're a dead viewer. Right? <laughs> Man, being told that having. Hold on, hold on. I, I gotta say, I feel like that's actually a compliment. I don't know if that was supposed to be an insult. I've never heard having 2.6 billion viewers after chatting about something for half an hour means you you you. you you killed the turret up. I'll take it as a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment. That, that's... All right. What are we trying to do here? Let's go uh, throw down some shocks first. There we go. I just want to control that frenzy and all the other shenanigans out there. Let's go ahead. Do that. And we just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Uh, hopefully, we don't run into too big of a complication with Mando. All right. Let's just go ahead. Get some buff. The spells nicely done. Keep doing the basics, yeah, do your thing, do your thing. All right, he's going poop stance mode, which is perfect. Exactly what I want to see. Oh, no. Oh, no, what am I going to do? All right, let's get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, all right, all right. Let's just keep, uh, can I, I don't know. Sure, I guess, I don't know. You, you rarely use that ability when running Star Killer. I was like, eh, might as well use it. All right, that's one down. Let's keep moving over here. Django number two going down in the grave. Three, two, one. And we're pretty much running away with this one. Nicely done. Please don't steal my banners. Get me some daisies if you can. Like so. Oh, this is going to hurt a little bit, dude. <laughs> Pull it out of the sky. There we go. All right. Maul taking a full on Star Destroyer to the head. Okay, I'm moving along, moving along. Now I feel like I have to use, I mean, I could definitely take a gamble and do a tray of mirror match. You guys know I hate mirror matches with a burning passion. It's like, you know, gosh forbid you, you landed one extra hit on Savage cause you're forced to and the whole thing goes to hell at that point. Yeah, this is, you're pretty much your options are like tree of mirror match, a galactic legend. Maybe Darth Revan of Malgus is another option you have at the table. That's, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this is one of those mini GL-like teams we have. Just you see in GG, I'm, I'm leaning that direction. All right, uh, just, all right, okay, okay. All right, uh, yeah, I think that's got to be the call. Ideally, I would like to... What's up, buddy? What you doing, buddy? You okay, man? You okay? I can feel your brains overheating right now. Just go in there. Wat Tambor it. Hopefully call it a day at that point. Just use the toxic Leia. Hell yeah, baby. Man, I, I wish I was closer to Leia in this account, man. That would be such a bonker if the character to have. Um Alright, let's go. I don't think I don't think I need more than this. A tank? I, I could give you Genosian. I don't know that's I don't know. It's like I don't really have I don't want to give him Savage. I don't want to give him Malik. I don't really want to give him Kylo Ren a mask if I don't have to. I feel like this is more than enough here. Yeah. All right. Four style Watt worth using. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. You don't know, need, like, I'll be honest. Just get your Watt. Like, I don't even have mods on the guy. That's how much, that's how important that is. 
literally if it wasn't for master kill there's not a lot of reasons to go all in on a heavily geared watson where unless you want to use a trench and stuff like that he just got to get in there it does his turn you got all you needed all right all right i'm hoping this is more than enough who knows i ah, just send him on in the big the big man's got it. let's go let's do it let's just do it let's do it just do it just do it just do it just do it armor Pfft, save the armor i can use it with supreme or kylo ren i don't know we'll see how this goes all right let's go get what we came for so we don't have to worry about ability blocks link up savage and link up nihilus he'll probably get a lot of turn meter let's do it all right let's do it let them do their thing okay and we're getting another turn let's go do a basic let them start spreading that deceive all around the board okay yeah 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 there we go let it start spreading let it start spreading okay let's see isolate coming in cooldown increases doing its thing all right i mean i i really don't think we needed a tank here but you know what i'm gonna hit savage i want him to get more turns let's do it let's do it and i do another basic let him keep taking turns let him keep taking turns yeah 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 almost to that ultimate don't need any protection covering keep feeding him the turn meter let's do it all right all right we're good we're good we're good all right got some ability blocks let's get some protection back now nicely done all right come on almost there and we are there send the big man into the dressing room get a little makeup on get a little manicure let's go and give a little foot rub and he's looking better than ever honey all right click this button five million times because it makes you feel special and let's get rid of them in three two one fireworks baby boom all right easy money i can just throw it on auto at this point i don't need to pay attention i don't need to play the game all right looking fine looking dandy where are we at with the super duper chest i know i am a bit behind on the matter here Woo. all right hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. my gosh where did i leave off all right we got to mr fabulous thomas yak back kelsey k beaver michael robertson murio marquez ah, i missed that one. Oh, mighty emperor thank you for always for this amazing energy it's almost like <laughs> give it for the gucci man there it is all right all right um all right we got a ray on the back you know maybe should have kept you know star killer but ideally um so perimeter car Ren should handle us in hindsight if i knew there was a ray back here i probably would have just done supreme leader kylo ren on the front and this would have been easy sith eternal food but we use sith eternal instead we'll have to work with it all right let's just get this uh, let's just get this cookie out of here supreme leader kylo ren now the the question is one of the following do i want do i want to bring armor here or do we want to bring in the full first order mm-hmm <laughs> I kind of would like to save Kylo Ren and Mask if possible, just in case they need an extra team. We got this armor lingering around. I just don't know if she's gonna get what I need out of her. Yeah, no ultimate. You know, you know how it goes though. Race Center Whirlwind's enough to drive me crazy. Yeah, yeah. What a trash rail lineup. I could tell this is a light speed bundle. I could 100% tell this is a light speed bundle right here. No alt. Yeah, that that no ultimate. Low Zetas missing tons of Zetas on the rest of the, the guys. This tells me they got the light speed bundle, and that's and that's a consequence as a result they um they they're lacking zetas yeah no need for armor yeah okay all right but i mean i'm just saying the reason why i'm putting that out i would like to keep you know kylo ren on mask and then they could do something here all right whatever or you know what first order officer that's what i'll do that's a nice combo play right there i will bring one of my two look at that just throw it on in there all right let's do it three two one let's go ahead send in the big boy Hopefully make quick work of this, but then don't get too cocky. Set and whirlwind. Uh, I'm not leaving a full banners in this battle. No way in hell. All right. What do you want to do first? I could do, I could take this a few different directions. I could trigger the damage beauty right away. So she doesn't get bonus protection. You know what? I think I'm going to do just that. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's just trigger the damage beauty right now. She'll open up a sudden whirlwind. They don't even need the bonus protection. And let's just start getting dirty. Get that ultimate charged up. Pass this over. Turn order's a little bit off, but it is what it is. Here we go. There we go. They're gone. And let's just go pass it back on over here. Give me a stun over there. Why don't you? 
get the stun locked in okay just do basic for right now that's fine that's fine that's fine and another one bites the dust it's it's messy business it is what it is though all right there we go let's go see if we can pull back. i can't really pull back terminator right now yeah it is what it is just do it there we go yeah i need more i need more alter charge let's not do it yet there we go bb8 down for the count pass that over let's do it one more time and there you go there we go we'll take it we'll take it yeah 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 i i feel like that i didn't need that whole lineup Ugh, it is what it is okay we'll come back down here in a little bit let's make sure we have enough for that top zone yeah 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 okay let's go so what are we saying imperial troopers let we need we need a wampa i need a freaking wampa right now let me see what the dita crown is i don't know should be fine right right, right, right wampa get it out there all right thank you so much for that but it's time ladies and germs give it up for the wampa <laughs> wampa's not playing around we're letting the beast freaking loose let's make sure the masses are seeing this three two one let's go and welcome ladies and gentlemen duncan john county movie code has it's time Will the Wampa be able to eat up all the heat coming at her? Let's wait for a turn. Big explosive plays. They are rocking a little bit of extra damage here. I can feel it. But now it's my turn. All right. So far, so Gucci. Let's go. Keep working. Let's go. Oh, she's hungry. She hungry. I can tell. Keep doing it. Oh. She hasn't been eating in a while. Grand Arena's been off for a little bit. Let's try to get that Han out of here, yeah? Let's do that. There we go. Down for the count. He'll come back. Oh, wait, he's not a Rebel Fighter. <laughs> he missed the memo. All right, keep hitting me, baby. Now I got to watch out for that damage. That damage is a little scary right now. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm feeling that extra damage output. There we go, but we're healing. Oh, I think we're in the clear. In the clear. All right, that's another one down. Just finish it up. Nicely died. Woo! All right. Keep him moving. Come back on home. Nice, easy battle of the day. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, let me check the speeds here, making sure, I mean, usually rarely any, oh my gosh. I've never seen a fully modded Darth throat of six dot mods with green, mind you. So what is that? That's three two slices not a single ounce of speed i feel like you have to purposefully try that out yeah he's ready for the raid <laughs> there you go wow i've never seen a darth have modded like that and have no speed on him uh okay all right biggest concern here oh they don't have a uh, marauder cool i was gonna say marauders can pick away my low gear troopers uh let's get to it imperial troopers let's rock and roll baby let's get it no 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 no. get out of there you 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 and you all right generally gets the job done let me make sure i didn't forget to put mods on we got mods we got mods baby we are rolling we got to get down that uh sith empire trooper asap i'm gonna gun down hk just so i can get rid of his unique ability and then we can start running the protection of a range trooper so priority number one we got to get sith empire trooper down yeah yeah don't stop with range exactly right like exactly what i said here i want to play this one let's go ahead turn it up a little bit nicely done let's go all right no screwing around come on we've done this a million times millions of times as long as you don't ignore the hk and we get through the sith empire trooper fast enough i think we should be okay i mean we own the line we own it right now if they're gonna get a turn it's because i leased it to them all right here we go we got the mark down let's make quick work out of this we got to be careful we are going to do the full swarm got to be careful though if i crit malik i could complicate things a little bit all right didn't get the crit on malik nicely done let's keep rolling give me another hit nicely done nicely done do not do this really i would lose right there and then i think a basic is more than sufficient for the moment there we go let's go do not do that right now i know it's tempting i know it's tempting let's finish that up awesome hk 47 second on our list here i mean they're not getting a turn for a while 
they'll be lucky to get one turn of Mal uh, Malik here. I had to double check. I almost said Malik is. All right, just keep doing basics. Let's work through him. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, man. If only my life problems could be like that. Just both. They're gone. They're done. Ooh, right. I don't want to screw around with Malik just yet. I was going to throw an armor shot at him. Boom. Gone. Easy. And now we can roar, truly open up the faucet. All in. Baby. One more time. One more time. One more. Oh, I needed that one more time. It's all right. We're going to get through this. Do it one more time. One more. Just one more. One more. One more. Oh, come on. Baby, you got to finish it up. There it is. That's the problem with running the low gear stuff. <laughs> you know your low gear when they're draining range trooper, not the dark trooper. It's all good. That usually happens. It's all good. Derby and armor shred. All right. Nicely done. Let's go. Just do a basic. Good stuff. That should wrap it up. Three, two, one. Take it to the bank. Nicely done. All right. All right. Yeah, we need that accuracy arrow, honey. <laughs> Gosh, the mods are going to be funny with this new raid. All right. Padme, Padme, Padme. Um, ba, 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 ba. all right. How we have three teams left, right? We had a Jedi training raid. We have a Padme. There was a third team. Can't be important if I forgot about it, right? What's the third team? There was a third team. E Phasma. Okay. Phasma, Phasma, Phasma. All right. Uh, with the Omicron. Okay. We could do a, quite a few things on that. I could throw, geez, I could throw a Savage here. He should be able to solo that. Yeah, Savage should be able to easily solo that. All right, so we'll probably do, let's say, Savage here. Uh, Jedi Training Ray. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm assuming they're not super fast here. Yeah, light speed first. Yeah, I could tell this is a light speed account, which is fine, but like, it's just an obvious sign. Like, when you get Galactic Legend Ray, most people have the Zetas built up. Like, the fact they have Ray without the Zetas there, it's cool they unlocked it without them, but yeah, they're just a little bit short on Zetas, which is fine. All right, so our teams are Darth Revan, Treya, Savage. I have Jedi Knight Luke that we can maybe utilize somewhere. So we have plenty of firepower for three teams. We just got to make sure we kind of match each appropriately. Padme is the most threatening. So likely I'm feeling Treya versus Padme is kind of what I'm feeling at the moment. Yeah, Treya versus Padme. I think that's, 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 that's got to be the call. Treya versus Padme. Let's do it. And then we'll figure out the rest in there. Yeah. All right, Treya. Uh, I'll, you know what? Do I want to bring in Savage? No, but get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, what am I going to use against Jedi Training Ray? We could just use Darth Revan on him. I, I would like not to use use him. Yeah, Malik can solo that man. Uh, you know. Is it worth the risk? Is it again? We don't need to get risky here. I mean, they have increased armor penetration, they have increased damage. You know, again, you know, you got to double check. You know, it's not a vanilla experience. Like, I know that was kind of a thing, but we, this is a different world that we're living in right now. What if I just want to use Savage here? I mean, we have plenty of ways to handle the first order team still, right? We still got Darth Revan, we have Jedi Knight Luke, we have a couple ways of going about it here. Uh, problem with the Anakin. Yeah, the healing. I do have Malik modded for tenacity, though. So, like, I I, I have it modded because I I intended to get some solos in, but again, I, I'm not sure if I feel confident with the, the data cron that I'll get through this. If you got height tenacity, good again. But again, you're not again. You're not wrong. But does this work against data cron Padme's that have higher armor penetration and damage? I can't quite tell you. Can't quite tell you. It also has Mace. Low. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Big problem. Mace is there. Yeah. He's going to shatter point me to death. So probably I'm just going to stick. I can maybe get away without Savage. How about this? What if I give you Malik? Would you guys feel good? Would that make you guys feel better about this? You know, just screw it. Give me a, just give me Thrawn. Thrawn's, Thrawn's the obvious choice here. All right. I can probably can't throw any data crown on here. I'm just going to go with this. All right, let's do it. We can, we're going to use Malik somewhere. It could be on the Phasma. It could be on the, not Jedi Training Ray, but let's do it. All right, send it. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Trey up. Let's work your magic. All right, so we got to somehow navigate around this opening play. Okay, cool. I'm going to isolate Padme right away. Let's check the order. Yeah, let's just isolate Padme right now. Isolate the Padme. Reduce cooldowns, Nihilus. Just keep her out of the battle. All right. Let's just, uh, I was hoping the Fracture Anakin. That was a good play in. That was a good play in shock. I could just throw the Fracture on Windu. Or I could hold it. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it right now. Okay. Let's just, uh. No. Should have had accuracy mods. All right, get the buff the spell. All right. 
Increase cooldowns again. Here we go. Okie dokie. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if we can try to work down Anakin. Nice hit. Great hit. Let's make some more of it, huh? All right, come on. Almost down for the counts. Let's do Held by Adrian. Love it, love it, love it. Here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, give me that buff. I'll, I'll take that off your hands. Thank you. All right, let's see if we drop a basic. Come on, let's hurry up, hurry up. Don't give him it. There we go. Healing Nudity kicked in. And Anakin's gone. The problem has been neutered. Okay, nicely done. Uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead. Back under stealth we go. Pass it back over to Nihilus. Get me the insta kill. Three, two, one. There you go. Easy money. Easy money. All right, let's keep pushing. Keep pushing. Mace Windu will get resilient defense. That's fine. Let's just drop the fracture. Back on him. Keep him in his place. Give me a daze on shock. I will take it. Thank you very much. Uh, this isn't bad. I mean, didn't need Savage. Didn't need Malik. Most of my banners are intact, minus the gear 12 side. Ah, this is not bad. Not bad. Let me see if I can maybe try to read. Yeah, we'll do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. All right, one more turn. Give me one more turn of Thrawn. And I can maybe. Hold on. Don't kill him yet. I need him. I need him. Don't kill him. I need him. Don't kill him. I need him. There it is. Let's go pass it on over to Treya. Nicely done. In the graveyard. Sweet. Caroline, honey. Okay. Cool. Let's go clear up that south zone. We'll come back. 18 minutes or so on the clock, right? What are we looking at? 17 minutes. All right. All right. So I... Okay. Let's just t let's take out this Jedi training ring. Check the speeds first. No BB-8, which is nice. We have ourselves 264. So not a, they're not going to have a fast explosive play here. They really should have put BB-8 here. I don't know. This is it's a weird lineup. They should have done the resistance bros on the, the other raid team. All right. Very slow team. Very slow team. I'll check one more. Let me double check. You 242. Okay. I can go about this in a few different directions. I could throw Jedi Knight Luke at this. Man, I really want to try Savage, but the healing immunity would be killer. We have Darth Revan and Jedi Knight Luke. Man, we got a few ways I can go about this. Savage, mmm. I mean, if you guys want, we could do Darth Revan Savage here, and then uh, Malik should be able to solo this. Should be. As long as my tenacity stands up, we don't get some, we should be okay. Jake, I know I want to use Jedi Knight Luke. Let me, let me see if I can pull this off. I don't have great speed on these guys. Uh, all right. What's can I get out there? Uh, we'll see. I'm not too sure. 196. My Revan's not that fast. 245. What was the lowest speed? I think it was 260 something. 221 yet again. Yeah, these Jedi. The, the, my Jedi aren't. You know, you kind of go and wave. My Jedi aren't really. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling this. Revan lead. I don't know. Is that gonna be enough to get me over? All right, let's see. You get 10, 15, 20, 25, 35 speed. I feel like I have better teams here. I mean, that should get me ahead of Fid. Yeah. Again, ignore the mod. He hasn't had his pass yet. You go in passes. You know, right? I just finished my Luke. I'm working on the other stuff. What am I working on right now? What team? Oh, oh yeah. I just, I'm working on Jedi Luke. I'm working on Fennec because I want to get the offense mods on him. Yeah, Revan, I don't give a crap about him until he's... I mean, I could use my gear 12 if I have it. But yeah, he, he has that at his moment. He has that at his moment. But eventually, I feel like I'm going to take him to gear 13. Then that's when you start dialing the mods again. If I could mod every character at once, I would. Despite the claims I spend $500 a week on mods in the free-to-play account, there's your proof that I don't. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Just 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 do it. So this is my first time using my Relic 7 Jedi Knight Luke inside of Grand Arena. Let's get some mileage out of it, huh? All right. Let's go swap it on over. Okay. Drop me some stuns. All right. We got to be careful. I am a bit concerned about all the... I don't know. I don't I don't think this is the right team to throw here. Darth Revan would have been... <sighs> Whatever. I feel like Jedi Revan's overhyped. It's Revan, it's Revan, yeah, but you know, there's better stuff in here. Darth Revan is so much better for this circumstance. We'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Let's just go, let's just go. All right, give me some big, big hit right here. Let's go. I was hoping for more. Just go, just go, 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 go. Put her in the graveyard, finish it up. Let's go, buffs over to Luke. Down she goes. All right, let's get over here. Let's give it to, you know, give it to Kyle. Let's do it, boom. Ooh, that one. <laughs> 
Can I just stop there for a moment? That was a nice hit. It's nice finally having Luke up and running. Ah, that felt nice. Yeah, do it again, do it again. One more time, hold on. One more time. Big hit, big hit, big hit. Okay, let's get, let's get it again. See, I do my mods. Everyone gets their moment. There's just better parties than Revan. Oh man, that felt good. That wasn't bad. That was pretty good too. All right, let's do it. Luke, one more time, one more time. I gotta get that seed on Hermit Yoda. All right, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. Well, all right, wrap it up, wrap it up. All right, and one more hit, one more hit. Give me one more. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It feels good having Luke up and running, baby. Let's keep moving. All right, one more battle to go. We have five million ways to cut this cookie up. Who cuts a cookie? I don't know. Why the hell they say that? Oh, jeez. My mind is a labyrinth that I still cannot navigate through. My. All right, I can go. Do we... All right, the question is how bold do you guys want to be? Do you guys want to solo this? Or do you want to send it a full team and be done with it? I mean, I don't see really any. This is a, basically Wampa versus Captain Phasma. Dr. Revan lead Malik. Oh, man. Malik solo. Okay, quick poll. Hold on. You guys got literally like two minutes. Not two minutes. Two seconds. Which one? All right, we got. We'll do Malik solo. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Savage. Solo. Okay, ignore my accidental capitalization. Uh, just ignore that. Both. Here you go. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Too much foresight for Savage. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just make sure we get through this. Yeah, you know, you got, you do got to be careful the foresight. But the hope is he gets a lot of turns and you know you focus it down one by one. All right, hurry. Right, we're gonna count. Ten. Oh man, the vote's split. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You know what? Just because I am a man of democracy, I'll give you both. How does that sound? Give just give you both. Everyone can be happy. Three, two, one. Let's rock and roll. Hmm. All right. Give him just. I, 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 there we go. You know, take this thing too. Let's go. I don't know what it does. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to two man this. Let's go. Let's go. Tag team brothers. See, so look, he's giving his wife to Malik. What a good man. All right. Let's go target pilot. All right. Let's get the work. Come on. Let's go. Auto. Just, just put on auto. There we go. Throw out an auto. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Nice hit. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the shock on him. Let's go land some hits. There we go. Almost down for the count. The bodies, they're open. I know you're hungry, buddy. Ah, bouncing back into the green. All right, come on. No, 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 no. Keep moving. Come on, get the foresight knocked off. Come on, Malik. I know you're hungry. Someone's got to be hungry for the kill. Somebody. There it is. Almost there. Get that back down. Get him back down. Get him back down. There oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get him down. There it goes. Right with the drop. He was just playing with us. He's got it. He's got it. Give it up for them. They got it. It's smooth sailing from here. All Savage one. He just wants to share his strength. Good news is I don't even gotta play ships. It looks like we're already ahead, but let's just let's just, let's just do it for the fun of it, huh? Let's get this nice full clear. Four galactic legends. Nothing. All right. Oh man, super easy day for us. Super easy day. Uh, pick your poison. What do you guys want to do? We can have like ten ways to to do this. Let's go over here. I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling a little chimera action up against these fools. Let's do it. Give me you. Give me you. Uh, give me you. Give me you. Give me you. Oh, I can't wait to get my item versus you up and running here. 
All right. Are y'all ready for this? Finalize. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's all complete overkill at this point. All right. Gary. No, no, you, you, I just want you to play the song, man. Just, uh, you don't, you don't, don't need to pause it. Just play me the song. Okay. Thank you. Um, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Pretty simple. Chimera. Okay. All right. Well, all right. It's fine. We'll talk about this later. All right. Let's go. Should be an easy peasy battle. Windu mirror match. Hell yeah, honey. Vader can probably sold us. Eh, let's bring up the whole family. Why not? It's a family reunion we got going on here. All right. Oh, nice. Boom. Just, I don't even know who that was. They're dying. That's all that matters. All right. They're coming in. Give me some free foresight. Let's heal up the team a little bit. And yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's go. Give me some burning. Yeah. All right. Give me a little basic action. Nice and done. In the grave. Where's the Millennium Falcon? Where's the Millennium Falcon, man? Hey, you got to get your taunt up, man. Get your taunt up. You know what? There we go. I swear Vader has a high priority for being targeted in this game. There we go. Nicely done. Finish off this fool. Open fire. Get it up. Nicely done. All right, all right, all right. And let's clean this party up. A little bit of finalizer action to wrap this party up. I don't know. Mace, Mace Windu oh, mirror yeah. match. <laughs> hold on. Can I do a Mace Windu mirror match? I, I, hold on. Don't tell me yet. Okay. I'll just make it sure. <sighs> Can I Mace Windu mirror match this? I mean, I, I, I could. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know what this is. Here you go. This is the perfect Mace Windu lineup right here. Okay. Um, sure. This looks this looks great, right? Why is my Windu so low? What am I gonna do with the guy? What? what, what? What am I gonna do with him? He's got his capital ship is literally useless unless you have maybe the Marauder. Uh, yeah, the guy's got no use. I mean, the character's fine, but I have no use for Mace Windu right now. Okay, I just want to say for the record, yes, with a four million GP account, there's literally 100 things I need to do. If I could do it all at once, I could. But Mace Windu's like, he's not. Even, I don't know if I'm gonna tackle him next year. I don't even see him on the radar for next year. I right, just send it in. Let's wrap this battle up. Let's go. Open fire. Let's show what real firepower looks like. I don't know what I want to do. Just go for a raid. I'm feeling, oh boy, she got real, oh boy, she resisted. I was not hoping that would not have happened. All right, let's, there, go, 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 go. They are down, go. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, let's wrap the party, y'all. Let's go do a little basic over here. Finish it up, I don't know what this does. Yeah, do it, right there, sure. Beautiful, looks good, looks good. All right, Razor Crest, boy. What a wonky little line that they got going on here. Can we finish it up? Oh, come on. Finish it up. Finish it up. All right. Do a little basic over here. All right. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. All right. Perhaps this wasn't the right amount of fire part to bring it here. Right? There we go. We'll drop some of this here. All right. Go here. Give me some of these concussion mines. There we go. Let's see if we can try to get this ghost phantom no, stun you. Why is it landing a stun? Do I not have your abilities upgrade or something? Two times. Two times you got resisted. I might be the first person in the world to drop a battle. <laughs> they swing this way. Well, I, I, I tried to and I tried to entice you. I tried to indulge you with a Mace Windu mirror match, but uh, apparently my Mace Windu mirror match game is not on point there. No stun two times, two times. I got scam. All right, let's see if I, you know what? I, I want us not to be able to get through this. Let me see. Let's see what we got here. First order. Come on, baby. All right, you, 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 you just get out in there. Come on. <laughs> Hope you guys are happy. All right, last battle. Hopefully, asterisk. We'll find out in a moment. And let's wrap this up, huh? Okay. 
all right a lot of preload going on here let them do their thing all right let's try to catch up now awesome just knock him dead there we go down for the count over here next good 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 well i don't know put it over there doesn't matter wrap it up come on put a bow on it all right mm -hmm. no, 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 no. We're almost there almost there come on give me a stun there we go at least someone knows how to land a stun just keep passing it over pop the big hit let's go and do, 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 do. what do we got here which one's which which one's which go 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 let's do it three two one give me something ability blocks no ability blocks it's fine okay come on come on come on come on don't you play coy with me let's go there we go okay all right let's do this little trick here there we go i don't utilize that enough use calling in the echelon for the assist that's like one of the few things i don't take advantage of there we go little disruption you ain't disrupting nothing get him out of here get out of here all right pump a little bit more terminator through my veins and wrap it up there we go Ooh, nice damage nice damage okay there we go listen out gp but not out wee weed you know what i'm trying to say all right we'll take it we'll take it i mean i gotta work on my mace window mirror match game. I probably, you know just because of that i should just make mace window my highest priority yeah ships man i i it looked like i didn't even need ships to win this so they must have dropped battles somewhere they must have dropped let's see let's check my defense we didn't have a chance to take a look at it okay yeah nothing here okay what do we got on the south all right let's see what we got here hey that's unexpected all right i'll take it a couple taps on my Iden versio eventually she's gonna be once i get her to seven stars i'll probably take her to the to the high relic level so we can get the best bang per buck out of my chimera all right so yeah i guess Iden afforded me a little bit of wiggle room didn't even need ships to win and even if i if it came down to ships yeah we would have made it through flying colors yeah i didn't do work what can i say what can i say baby all right let's get some few things knocked out what i want to do for the remainder part of the stream uh obviously i gotta catch up with you guys get the conversation wrong i did gary he's like he's like confused he doesn't know how to freaking put a thumbnail on a video so i gotta upload the the raid video uh i i want to try to uh wrong account i want to try and uh, i'm gonna force myself to fight the that uh, it's not the perfect example because this isn't the you know every every lay is gonna be a bit different uh, I want to rock a few battles here. I, I need to just, you know, punish myself, you know, D drop 10, drop down and give me 10. That's what I'm going to do to myself. So let me do, let me put something in the background real quick. I will be back in literally three seconds, okay, give or take. And, uh, and this is Gary, you know, this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, here we go. Sweet. You can watch the mythic tier of this. Let's do it. Figure out the tox. Like, again, I, <sighs> I had it figured out ish it's just uh, mm. the one of the problems is i can train and practice against one particular leia but the next one might have more defense might have more relics might have a worse state of cron so there's like some aspects that make it so you you can practice but you know there's always give me that variance and i we're, we're gonna get to practice let me just roll this on auto let me do gary's job apparently what do you do it's it, literally just just put a picture of me like that's all you gotta do is <laughs> I don't know why why you're here. Hold on, here. No, we're gonna help we're gonna help out Gary. Alright. Alright, hold on. Gary says he needs a face. He needs a face. What 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 face goes on the thumbnail? Do we do that? Do we do the But that doesn't really reflect how I feel about the raid. Alright, hold on. We we sorry. Ooh. 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 Ah! All right, Gary, take whatever you want with that. Play the game for me. I'll be our freaking to the B. There you go. You guys want less of me, anyways. Apparently. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, do a do a face off. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. Throw out an auto. I'm gonna torch you guys on one X, just to give me enough time. All right, that's that's okay. That's inhumane. I'm gonna put it on two extra. All right, BRB, hold up, hold up. Ah, hold up. Ah.
All right, I have returned. Sweet. All right, thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. I I don't know why I train Gary in these matters and can't seem to do anything. Let me make sure it is up on the goop tubes. Uh, all right, I think it is up on the goob tubes now. There we go. I mean, if you were here, you probably already saw it, but just in case, maybe you missed it. We got the new Ender Ray details, and I don't really know how I feel about it. Is AP in the chat? Or is he at? Where you at, bud? Where you at? 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 I don't see him. Hey, there he is. Hope you're doing better, buddy. Uh, I, I just want to, I don't want to take him off. I know you already, if you guys haven't seen it, AP Gains already put out his own, like, thank you statement. I think he made his, um, original video unlisted. 
is so you probably won't find I, I think well if you haven't hit it it should be if you find my video you should be able to find his video if you want to know all the context but uh be sure to check out ap gains's appreciation video it's you know oh gosh you know the say what you will about galaxy of heroes you know this is the best game out there hell no is it even close to like a great game no it's for what it is we like to play it but at the end of the day it's like you really you aren't going to find a community like what we have in this game anywhere else like it was it's crazy to see within 24 hours how quickly people were able to like rush to the rescue and help them out it's just it, it blows my mind you know I, I don't know why i should even be surprised i, I just seeing how everyone is like everyone's so caring in this community it feels like so i i, I don't want to i don't want to say on behalf of ap because he already thanked every, everyone but i just want to thank you guys for you know going out hearing him sharing your thoughts and for those that were able to to go above and beyond uh to help him out financially uh, i at last i checked this is crazy within what was it 24 36 hours you guys had like a shoot man I want to put it out there like CG was doing an extra life charity for like several weeks and you were you would get stuff if you donated I think they raised like 40 some thousand over the course of several weeks you guys in the span of like 36 hours managed hey the, oh my gosh the freaking video quality it's like <laughs> you guys managed to raise them 70 freaking ace almost 75 yeah thousand dollars man yeah it's crazy 2.2 thousand donations someone went above and beyond throughout ten thousand. um it's just you guys are amazing that's all i can really say there's really not much else to say on top of that uh i don't think he was ever expecting anything like that so uh yeah the goat with the 10k dono yeah <laughs> shoot man um so yeah again i, I don't want to say like act like he didn't thank everyone he thanked everyone i really recommend you go watch this video but on behalf of me and the people who came from my side to, to help out. I want to thank you guys, seriously. You know, it really means a lot. Far more generous than I could have imagined. Yeah, AP Gains, uh, I, I, all I can hope, uh, I hope your family takes it as, you know, I know it's, uh, obviously it's not gonna be able to fill everything that's going on in your life, man. Uh, it's, it's impossible. I, I don't know the full extent of your father's condition. I don't know if there is any 100% recovery. Uh, or even I, you know, you think you were saying something like the, the medical bills are like 180,000. So a year or something of that matter. Uh, but, you know, every little bit helps, I hope, you know, it's it's it means a lot. It means a lot just seeing uh, all, everyone come together to help you out, man. It really does. You know, it really it's 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 crazy. Um, He will never recover, but this will hold us down until we could sell the house. I hope so. Yeah, I. I don't you're in california right uh have you explored maybe any avenues that maybe have uh you know maybe other charities as well that might be able to help out again i'm not fully keen to which charities might be able to help but uh, hopefully there's other ways to help you guys you know hold yourself over because it just it, it, it sucks seeing that i don't want to get into the, the larger conversation of where the root of the problem comes from but it's just it's unfortunate that when serious things like this happen it's it sucks that some families get absolutely crippled when something like this happens. Uh, so I, I want to believe there's uh, there's other ways to make sure you get the help that you need. I'm sure your family's already tried exploring those options over the past several months. Um, AP, come to Canada. <laughs> C4. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think it's rough, too, because you live in one of the most expensive places in the country. So on all those living expenses definitely don't help out with the situation uh, on top of that. Uh, he actually won a family court case pro se. I'm pretty much a lawyer too. Well, there you go. There you go. But I love the the, the love that you guys are giving to AP. We might as well wrap up this last uh, tier here and then we'll, I'm going to force them to get a few rounds of practice in. Let's do it. California is way too expensive. I want to say this. I've been to California many times. One of my favorite trips was last fall. We're uh, me and the lead of an Alderaan. We started in Nevada for mobile gamers wedding. And then we drove through the Mojave. We did like an Airbnb in the middle of the desert. And then in California, in a span of a single day, I was in the desert. And all of a sudden, about an hour or two later, I'm in the mountains with snow overlooking the valleys of desert. And then we do this amazing drive around the mountains for scenic views. And then we end up in, um, what the hell is the town? Where Disneyland's in. Uh, is, that, is that Los Angeles? 
I forgot the exact tally, but then at the end of the day, we're watching the sunset on the beach. Like all in a span of a day, we did that. Anaheim, there we go, Anaheim. Yeah, we were by, at least close to Anaheim. It's just like, it's such a beautiful state when like the, just the, the vast amount of things you can do ranging from being the desert to the mountains, to the beach in the span of one day. It's an absolutely gorgeous state, but yeah, just the cost of living, I maybe it depends where you're at. Uh, just uh, maybe I'm under the, the wrong suspicion. The whole state's expensive, but that's the, that's the suspicion I get. Uh, but it's, it's, it's such a beautiful state. It makes me, it literally, I feel like, I feel like Pokemon, when you, like, I feel like it's based off of California or that region. You know, you got the desert, you got the snow, you got the mountains, you got the metropolitan areas, you got the, you know, the rural areas. It's uh, such a big state. I mean, there's something for everyone out there. So it is, it's truly beautiful. Mr. Dona, when you get to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to catch up now. Let me do a few, I guess, let me do this. We'll do like five, 10 minutes of catching up. I'll do my conquest grinding. I know you guys love watching conquest. People are like, dude, when's the next conquest sesh? I gotcha, I gotcha. And I'm gonna top it off even better. We're gonna play conquest and you're gonna watch me hit auto Incoming while I farm 40 stacks of repos, but not winning the battle because I don't wanna use all of my data disks right away. So hold on, we gotta get it set up. Let's go and get our consumable on. Uh, which one is it? Is it, no, it's not that one. Which one's the stupid, uh, is this thing? No, that's the Dark Trimoff Gideon. Deployable cooling systems. There we go. All right, now we gotta get in here. And then I'm gonna blow your minds away. So we got it. What was the lineup I did last time? It was Dooku, Watt. Oh, what was the lineup? I completely forgot. Um, it was Dooku lead, Watt Tambor. You guys, I don't even remember what lineup I used back then. This is premium content, 100%. 100% California is Chicago with the beach side view. Hey, they got fake beaches in Chicago. Uh, the, who, who would want natural beaches when you got fake beaches out here? Malikos has repos. I, I saw, I read that there was a, a bug and it wasn't reading it or not, not counting it. Um, I can't remember what the hell I use. I, I know it's something like this. I think it doesn't really matter, right? We just gotta, here, just do this. And... I'm pretty sure it was like something like this, like Kermit Yoda to feed more buffs to the team. I don't know. I just go under, I hit auto, and then I move on. Malikos work for you. All right, I'll throw Malikos. I just remember maybe, maybe to fix it. Someone was saying that Malikos' repost wasn't counting. Uh, where is he at? Where's my boy at? Let's go for it. Malikos. All right, let's do it. Jenny with Revan and JKCK. Unbench the trench. Yeah, whatever. Just throw this in. Basically, we just hit auto and make sure they don't win, which I believe if you put it on full auto, you can't win this because it's got that stupid event ability. All right, don't use trench. He's too OP. I know, right? Oh, C was it C3PO? I feel like it was C3PO. All right, so let's go give the sun over to Dooku so he gets as many turns as possible. All right, and hopefully I get a turn. I love Concourse. Okay, well, uh, I could have done a revive maybe. I don't know. I just don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Um, I oh crap! Do I have my mods on? Cause I ripped off mods for the raid. Okay, we got mods on. All right, I just got I just got wrecked. What well, could have revived? I just wanted to end it where it was. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Need to go in Mon Mothma, Papa Duke, Watt, Thrawn. You get Blast Tega Duku. I don't remember what lineup I used. I just remember it was maybe it was you know what? I think Palpatine. Palpatine sounds right. I don't know. It was a few weeks ago we did this. I'll do it one more time. One more time. All right, hold on. All right, this is... Okay, come on. All right, there we go. I survived that one at least. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah. All right, come on. Let's uh, let's get in here. All right, this doesn't matter. Just, let me get you set up and I'll leave you be. There we go. All right, do your thing. All right, got the Master Bakashi out there. All right, let him start cooking. I can't remember what the lineup was. It was something. We got it through. Like It took me like two tries. Yeah, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. This was not the lineup. It was a different lineup. What the hell was the lineup? God dang. I, there was a lineup that I didn't struggle this much. I just threw it on auto and it, it had to be Emperor Palpatine because I'm getting absolutely dunked on right now. All right. Yeah, well, let it let it go through. I at least got one repost out there. Was it Malik Dooku? It was something. Was it the Taunt Tech? I can't, I can't tell you. Can't tell you. Just finish me off. All right. It obviously wasn't this. Oh, freaking hell. I better. There's one more, right? Hold up. You gotta put this on airplane mode. Okay, cool. We have a. Okay, cool. We got it. We're fine. We have. I thought I lost it. All right. All right. Well, maybe it was. 
All right, I'm gonna try something else. It had to be, had to be something like this. All right, give me Palpatino. All right, Palpatino. Sure, give me Malik. Get me you. And why is it I'm having a hard time remembering what team I brought in here? You know what? Screw it. Throw on, throw on Lord Vader. Just throw it out. Just throw it there. New Duke of what armor? I don't remember. We did it a few weeks ago. Literally, probably three weeks ago on the money. I, feel, I remember doing a Thursday Grand Arena and I would wrap this up afterwards. I don't remember what the lineup was. All right. You know, I'm going to get this. The, do this instead on Dooku. All right. Let's just use this dude to feed me some. Oh, the can we. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just... I don't know. I can't remember the lineup. Oh, well. It is what it is. All right, let me just catch up. I, I think they should be able to... All right, let them... Hopefully they can... All right, whatever. Hopefully they can roll it. All right, where are we at? Uh, Murillo Marquez, I got you. John Daniel, I got you. Don Hine. Keep on dominating. It's great to be in the Empire. Yeah, I'm talking about the only thing getting dominated is my sanity with Leia today. Holy crap. Uh, what else we have? Rossi, are you gonna see Marvels? Is that coming out? Was it Marvel's? I, I, I'll be really honest. I, uh, I kind of haven't been keeping track of Marvel stuff lately. Uh, I, I remember, like, I haven't watched Loki. I have no idea what people have even seen about Loki. Like, I used to watch like every Marvel thing right away. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say. Maybe I'm burnt out on it. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure. It's just like, uh, I remember the last thing I watched, I was trying to watch Secret Invasion. I made it maybe three episodes in. I haven't watched it since. I haven't finished watching Secret Avengers. Um, yeah, I don't think I've really been keeping up with Marvel stuff. Loki sucks, really? Loki's good? Okay, well, <laughs> there we go. We got two polar opposites right there. I, I want to believe Loki was good. Uh, that was one of the more interesting things. I, I feel like Marvel's in, it's kind of in a weird spot right now. I feel like there's no urgency to watch the stuff like i feel like this this new era of the mcu they're taking a long time number one to build up to what they're trying to do it's just so much stuff out there even on the most minute characters and um gosh and i feel like they're in a pickle uh with um kang you know i don't know what they have plans with him i don't i think he's got ongoing allegations with his whole uh stuff going on in his personal life so i don't know whether he gets cleared or not of the the accusations are they gonna move forward with him ignoring that for a moment i feel like kang is such a weak villain to have it's like it's like oh okay you freaking at man beat him at man one of the i mean he's okay but he's one of the lamest heroes on the marvel squad you know he beat him so they have this thing it's like oh you, you beat kang but don't worry there's another king and they're gonna dunk on the next king it's like I, I i feel like i don't care about this villain if they just they keep letting him get defeated by minuscule characters and like why should i care about it? like the reason why he cared about thanos was he was a scary guy right you know that was the whole thing it's kind of hard to care about a character like yeah i mean the, there's multiple them in the different universes okay but i, I don't know yeah don't disrespect Paul Rudd. I, love, I like Paul Rudd. I have nothing wrong with Ant-Man. I thought the Ant-Man, you know, one and two were fine. Uh, was there a third one? I, I think there was a third one, right? I lose track of it, but like, this, is, this isn't really like a top shelf hero and he's already beating the new villain of the MCU. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I got nothing against Ant-Man. It's just, I don't know. Like, what, what if like, this is a horrible example, but what if like Tebow defeated the Emperor? You know what I mean? It, it kind of feels like that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I haven't been uh, keeping up with uh, Marvel stuff lately. I mean, um, I couldn't tell you what the uh, Marvels. But I did watch. I did watch Miss Marvel, right? But I think that's what her show is, Miss Marvel. I liked the first two episodes of Miss Marvel. So I remember during Kenobi, I, I liked the first two episodes of Miss Marvel more than I did Kenobi. And then like they really got off the rails, and their main villain was turned out to be lame. I can't remember all the details about it, but. Uh, yeah, I used to watch all the Marvel stuff pretty religiously, but I kind of am, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. So I couldn't tell you. So likely I'm just going to say, I probably wouldn't be seeing Marvel's right away. I'll probably wait till it 
maybe ends up on Disney Plus, wherever it ends up going. So uh, probably won't be able to help you out with that with that review. Squirrel, yeah, Squirrel Girl. There we go. Where is Deadpool? Yeah, I remember hearing about Deadpool stuff. Like that sounds interesting. Can someone tell me? I heard some rumor that it was it a Secret Avengers or whatever the next big Marvel movie is. Again, I could be completely wrong. I'm so out of loop. But I heard that Tobey Maguire might be coming around the corner. I mean, I love Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. It's just, it's more of a childhood thing, but I wasn't expecting to see him again. Is Toby confirmed? Is Toby confirmed? I don't know how I feel. Like on one hand, like the childhood side of it is like, oh, that's awesome. But <laughs> you know, I don't know about it. Your take is 100% seeing a bunch of ants to feed Kang such a letdown. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Yeah, Toby's the next Spider-Man with Holland. No kidding. He's not confirmed. It's just a rumor. Okay. <laughs> it's confirmed. Source, me. Nice. So that's what I heard. Secret Secret Wars. Okay, yeah. I'm losing track. I used to be like so on top of Marvel. I used to be hyped for everything that came out. And um, I feel like ever since the Spider-Man uh, No Way Home or whatever that was, I haven't really felt hype, you know. Uh, like Doctor Strange was okay. You know, I wasn't like to the moon with it. That's probably the other Marvel movies I've seen. I just, I, I kind of forgot about them. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna cry. It's something about Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man just, it's like a work of art. It's like, it fits that perfect 2000s era with cringy dialogue. You know, we see that even in the Star Wars prequels, you get some of the cringy dialogue. It just, it holds a special place in my heart. Uh, NC is kind of in a conundrum right now. They are sort of stuck, but they are moving forward. Yeah, I, I, I get that feeling. So I'm, I'm glad that, you know, my, feelings are kind of mirroring you know what some other people are feeling and again if you're if you like everything going on cool i just for that's just for me like i went from watching every marvel episode the second it came out to i even even kept kept up with the sam jackson stuff and i'm a big fan of the guy I just i was i just couldn't get into the show yeah the the fan made stuff was great i haven't watched much fan stuff from marvel anyways i should try to keep moving around um Nonetheless, Rossi, if you want my review, it's probably got to be a little bit later. Oh, you, oh, so Ross says Loki's been surprisingly great. I'll probably get around to seeing Loki eventually. I just don't feel the... <laughs> you want to know what else I... Oh, gosh. You know, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it. So instead of watching Loki, like usually I have time every night to maybe watch a, a quick episode of something with the Lady of an Alderaan. Instead of watching Loki, we're watching the latest episodes of Spongebob that came out. Don't even get me started on a Spongebob analysis. Like, some of these episodes lately, like, man, what, what, this, this is so random and dumb. But you know what? I'm still watching it. I'm still watching it. That's what I've been watching lately. They have, like, some newer episodes that, that were released. I noticed it. <laughs> uh, I used to watch everything right away, too. Now I don't. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Too many, like... Uh, I, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record for me like all right have a few shows important movie and I feel like the important movie unless I missed something quantum mania was like the one that should have been important it just didn't feel important afterwards Spongebob is better than Marvel or Star Wars there we go oh man all right let me keep moving we got uh a 80 is it Adi take whatever you preferred uh usage right there I don't know a 80 Adi I suck at names I told you guys never invite me to your graduation ceremony Thank you so much for the new membership to the Kyber Club Platinum Program. We have Rampom, 19 months. Stole harder, baby. You know how we roll around these parts. If I'm not stalling, uh, we're falling. Think about it. That's another wise word of wisdom you could take to the bank. Harex, new membership to the Kyber Club VIP Plus Program. Thank you. We have Nyar, 17 months. Man, it's already been 17 months. Man. I know. Time is flying. Time is flying. Glory to the Kyber Empire. Love seeing you around here, my friend. Always good seeing your face. What else we got here? Hold on. Let me double check something. I'm, I'm, I actually want to read the comments on uh, my uh, my video here. Let's see. CG about to announce the release of vehicles, then shortly followed by vehicle data crowns. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, man. The comments are great. I can't wait to go through these more later. Oh. <laughs> oh, where, where, where are we? Hold on. I lost my train of thought. Uh, they got Yar. I got Yar. We got Yotter. Here you are, bud. Two dogs. Toxically got nothing on Wong Hazmat Odin combo, baby. You know, shoot, man. Little things like popping a Wong combo 
those are the few things i miss in my gaming daily experiences man man oh man i haven't actually kept track on how uh snap is doing i remember a while ago they had like a marvel snap event on like twitch and people were it seems to be hitting off pretty well like i can't remember i saw a few folks at like 15 billion like viewers and stuff like that they, they, they do a lot of community events it seems like wish we had more of that in our game anyways uh grandma Logan x in 24 months well i finally uh have my new rainbow i want to say something uh, something like, i want to say something may some more later i think you you may want to say something more later there we go want to let you know you're a wonderful person got me out of a dark place when i originally found you dude I, uh, i'm glad to see things are getting better for you again uh, at the end of the day it's you that's making those steps forward i'm just here being a goofball and it helps you if it doesn't help you you know <sighs> All that matters is that if you're having a good time, that really means a lot to me. That really does. Holy cow, we knocked out repost in one sitting right there. Great to hear you're in a better place, my friend. Uh, oh, we got another one. 499. Gee, Emperor Arnold, you are a blessing. That oh, Listen, I don't know. I, I don't take flattery very well. It's like, it's like I'm, just, I'm just a dude. Maybe I'm king of Triple God's gift of mobile gaming, but I'm just here having a good time. And you know, if that's... That's why I try to let, not let the stupid days get to me because I don't want to be like that ticked off over freaking data crowns for the five bajillion time in the year. But I'm so happy to see you, you've enjoyed your stay here in the Kyber Club. I wish you nothing but the best moving forward, my friend. As long as you're here and having a good time, I'm hoping that translates well into your life as uh, beyond that, beyond the Kyber Club experience. So quick round of applause, quick air horn for our Grandma Logan Agassin. Love hearing nothing but good news from you folks. Oh, man. Oh, I always put the smile on my face. Roger, Roger, 15 months. Didn't wish Kadar a happy birthday. Take the L. Was it this is his birthday today? Happy birthday to you. To be fair, it's his birthday every single day, if you think about it. And then we'll do one more, and then I'm going to do a few rounds of practice to force myself. Uh, uh, so mad. Freaking Leia. Freaking Leia. Freaking. I brought my most galactic legends on offense ever, and they all got freaking wrecked. Anyways, we're going to force myself to get better. Uh, Darth Darthius, 30 months. Been a minute, but I'm back to catch a show. Oh, God, this, 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 this. I feel like you always say that, but it's only been like two minutes. I guess that's a long time away from the Kyber Club, if you think about it. And then one, one more. We have War Rixon, 199. Switch the Rage Shadow Legends. They don't have Leia. Gosh. This team, again, I want to believe a lot of this difficulty is coming from the Data Crown. I do. The team is great. We know from a vanilla standpoint, the team is great, but man incoming donation. this has been absolute hell to deal with so i'm gonna force myself to try this again <sighs> again i think i think the one and only misplay i made in that battle was i got cocky i thought i could maybe gun down drogan to stay to what i said let's just let's focus on leia all in no goofing around make sure i got mods i know i was doing some crate dragon race i'm pretty sure yeah, I put my mods back on. All right, let me try this. Let me try this. Let's get in here. Let's get like three solid back-to-back -back wins. No deviating away with the, is the... The mark was the most important play because the second Leia went under stealth, I really shot myself in the foot. It's like, ah, crap. That's why we need the mark. All right, big opening play. And I got to keep in mind, I don't know, like, you know, look at this data crowd. Um, I mean, it's got more defense, but uh, I don't know. Maybe... It's just, it's hard. Like, if I beat this, who's the same I'm going to beat? A Relic 9 Leia with higher Relic guys that maybe have more offense or something. It's hard to really say. Ability blocks. All right. Eh, didn't really get money there. All right. Let's drop that stun. Good stuff. All right. Let's go. You know, I'm going to... Let's just do this right now. Ribbon's about to take a turn. All right. Let's go. Mark down Leia. Just, that's what I did not do last time. You just got to go all in do the combo we did this combo right give it to revan all right revan quickly throws it back over to my boy cal okay cal's gonna do his thing let's go drop this down all right good stuff good stuff good stuff here they come give me some nice hits nicely done all right let's just keep moving cal along here keep moving him along move along do basics i could do an insta kill you know what i'm gonna take the insta kill on the wookie there we go all right keep moving cal along here and keep it moving like this felt this feels vastly easier was it is it because i played it right it's not like i don't know like i feel like this leia i have to, let me let me check my opponents leia how they were modded 
before I get too cocky here, who everyone's got days except that dude back there. All right, do some of this. All right, let's go pass this on over to Luke. Yeah, like this just this just felt vastly easier today. But it could very well be that maybe this. I mean, they have the right data cron. They got Drogon. They have that. They have that. They have more defense than my opponent today. Oh crap! That and that that crap right there drives me crazy. Look at that! Holy crap, man! Ah oh, yeah 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 yeah. All right, Let's keep doing it. I'm gonna drop this. All right, come on, come on. Keep passing turns over to Luke at this point after we get insta kill. All right, just keep working on Leia. Come on, let's go. Come on, mm, just do basic. All right, come on, just keep going. Just keep going. Okay, just do some of this. Okay, come on. There we go. Ultimate coming in. All right, all right, all right. Damn, I, like I'm still 230 into the battle. Come on, let's go. There we go. Come on, come on. Big hits. There we go. Almost down on Han. But again, it means nothing if I can't get Leia out of here before she does ultimate. Give it to Luke. There we go. Come on. Just keep doing this. Just keep doing this. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, I, I, I really want to believe the one misplay just not marking Leia. The second she's hiding, she's charging up so much ultimate. All right, let's do it two more times. Two more times. Just get it in there. Just get in there. Let's let's get into the habit. Like, I don't care if Drogon's out in the open. Just the mark has to go on Leia. I may have just underestimated how important that, that play is. All right, let's try this again. Whoa. Okay. Big old, ooh, big opening play here. Okay, all right, all right. All right, let's go ahead. Move us along. All right. Just go for right now. Just give this over. It doesn't really matter. Just give it over here. All right. Mark down Leia. Let's go. Don't let her escape. Okay. That quick combo. Revenant over here. All right. Pass it back over here. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. All right. Basic. All right. We are almost for insta kill. Usually it seems like I can kill off the Wookiee. He's usually out in the open, it feels like. Stun coming in. Gives me a moment to get who i need to get okay yeah yeah almost there keep moving cal along there we go insta kill usually i've been killing off the wookie things have been fine wookie dead okay just gotta keep moving keep moving things along give this over to cal there we go cal almost there this doesn't matter keep going keep going okay oh that's gonna hurt that's fine that's fine that's fine we're good here comes the bonk oof 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 stay stay strong stay strong stay strong stay strong all right, here we go. All right, let's go ahead. Drop that. There we go. Come on. Let's keep going here. Almost there. Mark her down. I think literally it's all it is. You just got to keep marking her down. You got to keep marking her down. But I... I, I hmm. Let me, let me focus on one battle at a time real quick. All right, come on. Come on. I know, I, I know she's probably going to bounce back. She's probably going to go back to full health for... <laughs> Freaking hell. That is such a garbage thing right there. Holy crap. Holy crap. Going back to almost full health protection. Look at that. <sighs> but you, like, you can't get distracted. If you go for someone else, you're going to get screwed. All right. Do that. What stance am I in? I always lose track. That is dual wield. All right. Just come on. Keep those armor shreds coming along. All right. Just keep moving. There we go. We're at the ultimate. Give the sun over to Luke. Okay. Okay, ultimate. Let's do it. Let's pop it, lock it, drop it. Uh, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, pass it on over. Let's give it to Luke. Oh, Hermit Yoda's about to die. I don't like that. I should have passed it over to him. There we go. That just slow him down a little bit. Nicely done. Let's go pass it over to Hermit Yoda. All right, let's heal up the team. Get some foresight. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Like, look how long this battle's freaking taking me, man. My God. Come on, almost there. Almost there. All right, let's go. That should do it. There we go. Yeah, it seems about, it feels like it takes about three minutes just to work through Leia. Man. Okay. Try Hoda turn past the JMK. Hold on, hold on. JMK or JML? 
Try on Hoda. Turn the pass. JML. Oh, you mean JML special. Make Cal go first. And then target swap the mark. Um. So the uh, maybe I'll try it, but the, I mean, there's a, there's a certain reasoning behind what I'm doing. The way I'm doing it, I don't want. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna try it. I'll try it. I'll keep an open mind. But the reason why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it because the way I do it, I get Cal to 30 stacks basically within the first few seconds. I feel like if I make Cal go first, all of a sudden that's gonna stall out how long I get the insta kill. Uh. So let me. Okay, let me. I'll, 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 I think I understand what you're saying. So, yeah, the, the mark isn't a problem. I get the mark when I need it. Yeah, I get the. I don't think. I, I, I want to say I think I'm right on this matter. I see what you're trying to get at here. So, like, the issue it hasn't been marked. I've been getting the mark. So far, we're two out of two. I get the mark right away. The problem was when I did the battle in Grand Arena, I got cocky and I was like, you know what? I'm going to mark down Drogon. You can't do that. You, you, you just can't. You can't. You just all the focus power goes in here so i see what you're saying but does it i don't know if it makes sense revan's gonna drop the mark anyways because you want the combo to be revan mark cal takes turn passes turn to revan revan swaps back over cal switches stance he's ready for insta kill yeah i feel like i got this i feel like i got this i mean i'll play it the way you're recommending it you think we should do this but you see what i'm getting at like why i feel like it's this combo's like why would i want to swap this over to revan it doesn't make sense. Like, I feel like you have to do this because Revan's about to get a turn. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll roll it like this, but I don't think. Yeah, see, like, look, it's I'm, I'm this is taking me much longer, much longer now to get insta kill. Like if I did the combo that I was doing, he would have been ready for insta kill. We're not ready for insta kill now. We got to wait a whole other turn. Like I could have had the insta kill right about here. So what we could do, I guess, is it's kind of an inverse way, I guess. It, it feels like the end goals kind of the same but i feel like this is less efficient because now i could just i feel like overall this is the same yeah i'm not quite i don't know if that really made much of a difference i feel like it was maybe 10 percent less efficient doing it that way uh, i don't know i think uh, well we're gonna keep rolling with it doesn't matter the point i'm trying to get at is that this counter should work so long as all the attention gets put on Leia. That's that's the most important thing. We need all the attention on Leia. Do that. Just do this. Yeah, I don't know. My, something feels off right now, though. I feel like all those opening plays are throwing me a little bit off here. But I think I sh should be able to win here. Should is the keyword. Here, go over there. Okay. Just, yeah, I don't know. Something feels off at the moment. Do that. All right. Let's go ahead and swap it on over. Let's give it to Luke. All right, because basically once I get the insta kill off, I, I want to try to give Luke as many turns as possible to make sure we get as many stuns moving forward, as many repulses. Because the repulse does a good chunk of damage on uh, Leia too. All right, there we go. All right, keep going. Keep going. All right. All right, mark her down. Don't let her evade us. That is probably the most underrated play, just marking down Leia. So simple. Come on, honey. Come on, baby. Okay, let's go just do some of this. Here we go. Come on, give me one more lead. Here we go. Do that. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Let's give this over to Luke. All right. Hit that. There we go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Gosh, it takes freaking forever to get her down. Come on. There we go. Basic. All right, let's go. Come on. Almost there. She's in the yellow. Don't let her do that crazy bounce back thing. I don't know. Just do this now. Here we go. Swap back over to Luke. Come on. Tell me you got repulsed. He's got it. Let's go. Almost down. Almost down. That should be it. There you go. So it seems like you know, I got to the end result that I needed. I don't know if that was a more efficient way of doing it, but I got my three out of three. Again, I think I literally think it came down to I got ballsy. I was like, oh, Drogon's out. I hate Drogon. Let's do it. I don't think that's the way of doing it. But the other thing I would like to try to lock in, like, I just, the counter works. I just, I screwed it up. But that's such an expensive counter, man. I told we, I don't want to break down the whole conversation we had, but putting Revan, Cal, Luke, and Mass Luke into one team, that, 
that spills into so many other issues like freaking Supreme Leader Kyle Ren becomes a problem all of a sudden and uh Darth Malgus becomes a problem I would like for the hut cartel to work and I can kind of make it work kind of all right let's get a prod on here uh you've had JMK gas work I mean again that's kind of and if it's worked for you awesome if it's worked for you awesome I, I don't see myself doing that like I I feel like that's kind of the same vein. It's overkill, pulls away from one of my fun defenses I like. Uh, like, I, if Hut Cartel can, if I can get 100% consistency with this, I'm happy, man. So what would, we, what would I need? We would probably need, I would like to have maybe like a light side. Uh, no, that's dark side. I need a light side offense. Uh, or maybe we, maybe dark side's fine. Maybe Dark Side's fine. That way Boba Fett has more to do. Um, you've also made JMK gas work on Leia Crown, but it doesn't... Oh, yeah. The, the, I, I, I want to put it out there. Very key distinction. Saying I beat Leia with Jedi Master Kilby, it, it doesn't mean a ton to me right now, unless it's against the Han Chewie comp, because the Han Chewie comp is where people are moving towards right now. And as I showed you, that lineup could blow through a Kenobi in about a minute on full auto. And there's really not much Kenobi can do. So yeah, I, I know Kenobi can beat a normally. I've done it myself numerous times, but this is not the same. This is the, this is a whole different breed of Leia, whole different thing. Uh, yeah, th just th this plays a whole different ball game. So let me try this out real quick. Uh, and I don't know if this lineup's going to exist after the data crown goes away. It could, it could very well still stick around. Who knows? All right. Okay, the good news is Hot Cartel slows down that opening play quite a lot. Now, I'm guessing it's kind of the same thing. We just want to keep focusing down Leia, right? I want to get the buff immunity on her so she can't get away from me. So I'm going to treat that like the mark. Just do some of that. Boy, that felt like it did a whole lot of nothing. Do the dismemberment, disarm, whatever that thing's called. Okay, very important that does that. Okay, all right. Okay, just keep doing basics. There we go. Um, boy, I guess I could do ability blocks. Did I get anything? I don't, it doesn't look, doesn't look like I got anything. <laughs> Oof. Okay, yeesh. Oof, freaking hell. All right, come on. Let's get that ultimate going. Eh, there's not a lot of debuffs to really utilize right here. Uh, just do basic, just do basic. There we go. There we go. Oof, oof, oof. Come on, don't die me yet. All right, come on. All right, don't die me. I need you. Oh, come on. It sucks that taunting's literally useless against this team. All right. You know what? I'm going to just drop another one of these just to make sure Leia does not escape me. Okay. And just, uh, this isn't going to do it. Just do basic for right now. Come on. All right. Come on, Jabba. Where's my ultimate, buddy? I'm just... Mm, I, I kind of want to do this just right now. Okay. Maybe I'll regret it. Oh, gosh. This is where things just start falling apart. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that didn't go well. That did not go well. I mean, at least I got Drogon out. That's something. Uh, maybe don't use... It, it, it kind of feels like Chrysanthemum does a whole lot of nothing here. Let me roll that. I, like this, I feel like this has to work. I feel like this has to work. Uh, is Chrysanthemum even doing anything? It doesn't feel like it. It really doesn't. He just kind of sits there and looks pretty. I don't know. You got the, the other option is you could... I'm okay. Let's be fair. He does maybe help in the opening play before you know because drogon gets that bonus turn right eh, but their deadly bluff slows down drogon's omicron hmm take the wookie out <laughs> it feels weird but hell if this works i mean well, let's try it again let's try it again and but definitely you'll be in a faster ultimate for sure all right what do i got here rex is prime 17 months finally got esso character playing for six years holy cow let me guess, a little bit of a uh, light speed bundle helping you get along the way. Love to hear it, my friend. <laughs> Love to hear it. All right, let's do the same thing again. Keeping the buff immunity on Leia. Don't want her escaping me. Focusing all my attention on her. All right, let's just try to 
get us to there we go just keep passing that over all right there we go just keep doing basics when we can all right just there we go keep spamming specials got the ability block on him easy buddy easy 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 <sighs> damn that damage that damage all right there we go contract triggered ay uh, man you know I, i'm feeling a little gutsy kind of want to see if i could just like nah, i don't mind that. Eh, you know I, I, he might be dead here in a second hold on hold on so like i, I i'm like this is where i get like i get like oh i can i can get the wookie but then like i'm gonna screw myself over i just know it there we go i got him out. all right got him out got him out okay there we go i feel like that helped us out a little bit let's go drop a basic all right let's give me the ultimate there oops i didn't need to waste that special it's fine okay it's feeling a little better the wookie's gone i'm gonna have an insta kill on drogan here in a moment there we go let's get rid of drogan three two one this is feeling good it's feeling good all right now we just got again now we just got to put full effort on leia don't let her get away from me there we go come on oh boy it's like i feel like i'm not getting enough damage out there right now Oof, that's gonna be a problem all right uh, uh that sucks that sucks all right come on give me some buff the spells let's go i'm gonna see if we can use boba fett to get rid of han in a moment come on baby oh come on oh come on keep going come on there we go you know can i get rid of han let's see there we go he ain't coming back he ain't coming back now there's a chance the wookie could come back but i'm feeling pretty good about this battle hold up there we go get rid of r2 all right this is feeling okay it's feeling okay i think uh i think leia will get altered off so probably will bring back the wookie um just do basics right now okay we wrap some of these down all right all right ultimate next turn all right just come on come on come on come on in the yellow oh, that's gonna be annoying all right oh cool we didn't lose anyone that's fantastic give me a buff to spell i'm gonna throw out an auto because it feels like time is the biggest enemy here like if i can make this work like every single time this is a fantastic counter then this is like because this is one team this isn't like dismantling three four five teams whatever the case might be so uh we'll see how it goes all right have anyone tried seer malikos and jc versus team i have not we're, we're definitely early in the process i probably by the end of this grand arena session the next couple days we'll probably have a little bit more deets on the matter all right feels like we're getting there yeah 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 okay all right let's see if we can lock it in how we doing kylo how we do it i would think we could say that is a win i hate i don't mean to bore you i probably should just do this in my off time but this is it's just this is what the grand arenas are going to come down to i'm going to try this one more time if i can pull this off again i i don't want to get cocky they could have more defense they could have less defense they could have higher relics you know so there's a lot of variables at play where things can just go wrong one more time 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 can they revive drogan no so uh rancor the kills you can't revive from that so that's good also Boba Fett's kind of nice because when he gets a kill with his rocket they ain't coming back but the wookie could have came back remember people seem to forget it's totally understandable these kits are bloated leia cannot revive unless she kills someone with the ultimate which she might not but if she does kill someone if someone was killed by an anti-revive thing they, they're not coming back what's up kylo i know it's it's poo poo time i know we gotta go poo poo uh, i'm almost done friend. i'm almost done franklin i'm almost done okay we'll be doing a second this is like i gotta poop i, gotta poop. I feel you i feel it almost there you see this guy we're gonna get this big the big slug the big bug kylo loves bugs oh that's rough oh that's really rough oh god that's horrible hold on that's horrible all right well we're gonna just do basic hopefully leah there we go that bonus protection man it feels good when you get it there we go uh just do basics for right now okay probably could have, i should i should th i think i should be throw that rocket the second we get contract payout both of it takes a turn i feel like i should throw the rocket at the wookie we'll maybe see about that moving forward all right there we go keep moving keep moving i'm gonna throw this again buff immunity is critical the second she escapes me things go pretty bad all right Ooh, don't don't kill off leia boy leia being knocked out would suck basic there we go almost there boy they're they're going hard on my leia Ooh, baby Ugh. 
And that's going to leave a lot of question marks. I don't know if we're going to win now. I don't know if we're going to win now. Mm. That is concerning. That is concerning. All right, we can kill off Drogon. He's not coming back. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That kind of sucked. Mm. Leia is literally 40% of this team. We'll see what we can do. We can uh, just. I mean, we still. Got, I think we. You know, I'm feeling okay as long as Leia doesn't do that magical heal. Here we go. Come on. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Come on. Hell yeah. All right. That's another one. Let's do it one more time for good measure. <laughs> it's like torture. There we go. Uh, I, okay. I mean, you know, taking Jabba off defense, it's a minor sadness. You know, I mean, Night Sisters could cheese through him, you know, potentially. Uh, but if I, you know, I would rather use this than a Jedi Master Lou. Bad RNG to win? Yeah, we lost Leia. That was actually a little scary. Uh, Boba Fett coming to $10. Speaking of devil, speaking of Boba Fett getting us some fat dubs here. Hey, G, with all these defense crons being 20% minimum, I feel like CG should start increasing the time because it's ridiculous that a win loss in turn, whether or not you have enough time. Oh, man. That is an interesting conversation because, yeah, the five minute timer, you know, you got to keep in mind that was kind of made in a much different era of Galaxy of Heroes when Jawas were the meta. When Poggle and the droids were the meta. Um, when Ayla Sakura was the meta way back in the day. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I think it, it, you could definitely make an argument that we need to increase the timer, especially with these data crowns. So what did I say here? We should probably should see, see if we can just light the Wookiee up here. I don't know. That feels okay. That feels okay. Let's, uh... Oh boy, I hate when I deviate, but I'm going to do it. Here we go. Like, that feels all right. Yeah, uh... The, I'll be honest, this isn't as bad as, uh, my gosh, the evasion days. The evasion days are just pure, utter trash. Let's get the buff midi on. Yeah, I wouldn't, listen, I wouldn't oppose it because some of these battles feel like it comes down to the wire. It really does. These Liga battles, especially lately, defense, all that fun jazz. All right, we're looking okay. So far, so good. Ooh, that's fine. He'll come back. All right, let's get Drogon out of here. This is feeling good. And then watch, next Grand Arena, this isn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. But as long as, again, I focus most of my attention on Leia, then I'll, I make these minor... I think the most important thing is if you're going to do that quick hit on, like, a Chewie or the ultimate with uh, Jabba, you got to make sure buff immunity is on or else you'll be in a big pickle. All right, come on. All right. Oh, shoot. Embel's gone. Embel's gone. That sucks. Oh, jeez. All right. Buff immunity. Let's go. Come on. All right. Unfortunately, we got days on us. That's never a good thing. Oh, rocket. Let's do rocket to the face. Hey, yeah, that feels good. That felt good. That felt good. That felt really good. Okay. Keep doing basics. All right. Okay. Keep doing basics. Nicely He's done. Come on. Me. Another ultimate coming in here. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Give me some ability blocks. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. Jabba, let's do our thing, buddy. Come on, Jabba. Come on, Jabba. All right. There we go. R2 is gone. Okay. Feeling good. All right, let's wrap this puppy up. Come on. Ooh, I don't think we need to worry about... Ah, get the retribution off. Let's do it. All right, so now, this is the only concern. We got to make sure Leia does not kill anyone of ultimate. But we did survive before. I'm hoping I could survive again. All right, and keep in mind, this is only Relic 8 Leia. I don't know if Relic 9 Leia would make a big difference. All right. Mm, don't die. Just no one die. Worst case scenario, the Wookiee revives. All right, we ate it up. All right, but at this point, you got to just throw it on auto. We got to go through a full health protection Leia again. All right. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with this. Maybe I'll go with this. We're Relic 9 Leia make a difference. That's why I said I don't want to get cocky. I'm sure it'll make a difference. How much of a difference? I can't 100% say. And then, then the question is, well, what about the Data Crown? Because this... This has more defense than the, the Leia I fought in Grand Arena. The I don't know. It's, it's tough. There, it's like I miss the days when I pulled off a counter and I know it always worked. But yeah, now you got the Data Crowns. All, it's, it's the stats. The stats. It's the stats that really throw things off. It's like, I don't know. But uh, so far, 3 for 3 for Jabba. 
I mean, I knew this was already kind of working. I showed it the other day, but uh, I think this is working a bit better because we're doing this without Cursanta. So uh, you did a super chat a half hour ago. Yeah, I'm going to do a catch up sesh here, but I had to just get this out of the way. All right. We're going to give it a stab. I'm hoping that works. So that way we don't have to waste Jedi Knight Revan, Luke, Cal, and Master Luke all on one battle. All right. Fingers crossed that works out. Fingers crossed so that works out uh, moving forward. All right. Let me do some auto wing and conquest. Let me keep moving the chains along here to make sure I'm catched up. I got Rax's Prime. We have Jared Hicks. Full, a better. Oh, we already talked about that. Definitely go all in on Reva. Cole Harris, $5. What sector am I on? Let's uh, go over here. Any more sector feats we got to do? No, nope, we're good there. Oh, I got to pay attention to that battle. I don't want to pay attention right now. All right. What do we got to do here? We need. Uh, defeat an enemy of scout trooper I, that means i gotta pay attention um i want to do non-pay attention stuff because you guys know when i'm focusing on here all right looks like i'll have to just come back to those later when i'm actually paying attention all right let's go sector five what do we have left in sector five to do all right there we go defeat 50 enemies okay you know what? just do the damage immunity thing for right now go damage immunity just do this node for the moment. Yeah, just do that node. Just go for it. All right. Let's go. Kenobi, damage immunity. Uh, it's I probably should just do Ray, but it's just get in there. Call it a day, huh? All right. You, 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 you. All right. Let's go for it. All right. Jeez, 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 jeez. Where did I leave off? History team. Hey, Arnold got wrecked in GA. My five mil versus 12 mil. What? That sounds like amazing matchmaking right there, dude. Love to hear it, though. Great to have you here, bud. Hope you're doing fine despite matchmaking issues. Uh, we have Yonder, five hours. I don't remod for crate. Yeah, we talked about the crate radio. Yeah, that's going to be tough, man, to remod for them. Like, gosh, I hope it's not as finicky as it seems like it's going to be. Oh, what else we have here? James Patton, 59 months. Holy moly. Here's the 59 months of the greatest empire in history. Shout out to my guild, Rise of Legends. Sounds like a mobile game. Rise of Legends. Download now. Use my promo code within the next 30 days and you'll get yourself an amazing guild. But that's not all. I don't know. I don't know what else you guys are offering over there. Ah, oh, great seeing you, bud. Uh, Jared Clark, 33 months. Nearly finished his job unlock. Becomes obsolete just in time for the new raid. I, I, I wouldn't say it's obsolete. Jabba, Jabba's not obsolete. He's a very important galactic legend. Aside from the crate Dragon Raid. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been nice to have him be useful for all the raids moving forward, but he's at least very important in the Territory Wars Grand Arena. I mean, hell, I'm able to pull off probably the cheapest Galactic Legend counter up against the Super Layer right now. So I wouldn't be mad about Jabba. Jabba's going to hold tons of value for the foreseeable future, aside from the raid. Anyway, lost my GTA due to a 6 GL death. So what? Another person falls victim to the matchmaking system? I don't believe it. I thought the matchmaking system was awesome. Uh, but it's all good. Slim roster for the win. You'll get them next time. You know how it goes. You're going to win 50%. You're going to lose 50%. Very wise. $5. Hey, G8. You think they'll nerf GLL? No, I don't expect it at all. So all the rebel call-ups in their kit will be changed to non-scoundrel rebels. I 100% expect no nerf. I would be surprised. Surprised. If they did any nerf delay. Again, I want to put out a few things again. This very well could be very deadly because of the data crown. That's definitely part of the problem. But we'll have to wait and see afterwards. Number two, it's the brand newest toy on the block. I doubt they're going to do something like that. Uh, I'd be blown away again. If it was maybe like, if it was like, let's say, Sith Eternal all of a sudden became this deadly, maybe. But you got to keep in mind, especially if data crowns, if this is a data crown issue, they said specifically, if there's something broken, they aren't going to do anything about it. And again, the Leia team is beatable. I showcased, I, was, I, bought, I beat it six times in a row today when I made sure I did the things I taught myself. Jedi Master Luka won three times. Jabba won three times. It's beatable. It's just very, it's, it's definitely one of the most difficult. It's, it's, yeah, it's one of the most difficult things out there at this point. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but I, I doubt, I wouldn't expect any nerf. I don't know if I'd want to encourage it really either. I don't know. Cause I don't want, I don't want them to nurse them because it might be just a, 
an externality of the Datacron being absolutely bonker on top of a bonker team. So, you know, like, we're gonna have to wait till the Datacron goes away, dust settles. I don't think she's gonna be bad. But is she gonna be as deadly? Who knows? All right, what else we got? Rob is Mad World, two months. If you have time, check out the Jersey Mike's Rhythm of the Slice commercial. Sound familiar? I'm guessing, if I had to guess, this is the rhythm of the slice. I'm guessing that'd be pretty hilarious if that, <laughs> that was it. I'll only copy and paste it for later, just in case. You know how it goes. You, you, you just look at something for a split second, they'll come crashing down on me. I feel like the only people they don't come against are the people who just like sit there and watch an hour long video on YouTube and don't react. And they just post like those are the people they don't come for. But trust me, I play five seconds of a song. They come down full force. We need to take all of your revenue for the next year. You know how it goes. Ah, that's cute. That's clever, though. Dewana Wanga or Dewana Wapo, the 32 months. My wife is yours. You know, ever since you guys said that, I can never unhear that. I just can't. <laughs> you guys ruined it for me. Thanks a lot. Audrey, 473, three months. Thank you, Cover Cup, for the gift of membership. Always thank you, Arnold. All you do and get, listen, I'm just a goofy guy having fun with you guys. I'm not doing anything special here. At least not that I think of. I'm just here hanging out with y'all. You made an impact on my life. Much appreciated. You're too kind. Again, we're just here having a good time. I'm just happy you're having a good time with us, my friend. Hope all is well and keep staying well for you. Unfunny German. 19 months. Glory to the empire of mankind. WH40K is lit. WH40K. Oh, is that Warhammer? Are you saying Warhammer 40K is lit? I have no experience with that, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. We have Babu Frick 49. Thank you so much. No comment, but thank you. Hey, hey. Rossi, come to the hours. Messed up my beard shaving today. Had to shave it up. Oh my gosh, that is the worst. I've had that once myself. You feel naked. When's the last time you didn't have a beard? I, it was in a YouTube video. Gosh, 2018 or I think it's 17. I, uh, I got the beard trimmer. Gary must have pulled a prank on me. He must have lowered it to the lowest setting. I didn't know about it. He was probably using it on his nether regions. And uh, yeah, forgot to have the common courtesy to first off clean it and put it at the right setting that I had. You do the first buzz. Bzz, and it was game over. So I ended up doing... Uh, I, I had a goatee for a little bit. I don't look good at the goatee. I really don't. <laughs> so probably, my gosh, six years since the last time I went fully shaven. I could never look at myself again. I feel like I'm like 30 years younger at that point. Oh, let me go ahead and throw that on auto. I, we're probably only getting one damage mini per turn, but that's fine. I just want to get some background stuff going on here. Uh, we have Jinx Fate, two dollars. Have you seen Iron Man Legends trailers? I have not. Oh, actually, I think I may have seen something passing. Yeah, what, what, what's going on with that rumor to Iron Man? Okay. Iron Man legend. I think I saw something uh, like this. Marvel Legends model. Oh, is this a video game? Marvel Legends Iron Man model. Oh, no, I didn't see this. Okay. No, but I've been hearing the rumors about... Boy. It, it'd feel a little desperate if they went this route. I heard the rumors that allegedly they want to bring Iron Man back to life of Tony Stark. I don't know. It, it, it could be like... It could be evil Iron Man or something, but uh, yeah, I mean, whew. they put a lot of their MCU identity around Captain America and Iron Man, dude. Jeez. So uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they're even if they're considering that. Uh, but I haven't seen the Iron Man's Legend show. I have to check it out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You're not landing a single damage unity because you are killing. There, 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 see, there's a damage unity right there. Right there. Again, I'm just. Just getting <laughs> this random background footage. Likely, I'll maybe throw in Ray. Ray will give me a little bit more damage immunity, likely. Uh, for Secret Wars with the multiverse, there are rumors. Yeah, I've heard those rumors. Uh, we have Rossi. Speaking of rumors, he says with a $5 super chat, rumor is Loki is gathering the strongest variants of the multiverse. Hughes will Wolverine, Toby Spider Man, Fox's X Men, per Josh, Deadpool 3 is about that. Yes, I've heard about that as well. Hold on, let me see how much damage immunity am, <laughs> am I even getting here? <laughs> Probably only gotten like three. Uh, da, 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 da. Incoming donation. Hey, we got. Hey, we're making progress. Making more than I thought I was. We'll we'll keep going. We'll keep going. There we go. There we go. Just let them keep doing their thing. They're they're getting there. That's fine. Oh, Janet Master Kobe's out of stamina. Oh well. All right, let's try Ray out. Ray will do like a full scoundrel team of Beskar Mando. 
Here you go. Hopefully. Actually, this might be harder to get it because my... Here, try to pick characters that won't land too many debuffs on them. Here you go. Yeah, because uh, we don't want the data just doing all the work for us. Ah, uh, what was I reading here? Yeah, Toby Spy. That's I don't know, man. The, the multiverse is. Uh, I feel like I was never crazy about the multiverse idea. Like, I feel like I was like, all right, fine. Time travel that they did in the Infinity Saga. OK, maybe. Like, I never feel like I was fully on board with the multiverse. I mean, it was cool, of course, seeing, you know, Toby come back. Um, oh my gosh, Gar what was this? Andrew, Andrew as well come back for Far From Home. Like, don't get me wrong. But man, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about, like, making the multiverse your identity. Like, what do you, where do you go from here? I'm like, they want to keep Marvel moving for years. I don't know. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like 100% like a massive fan of a multiverse idea. Uh, you know what? I feel like we got nothing out of that battle, right? We, yeah, we got nothing. Uh, that one used Droidica. All right, we'll throw in Droidica. The problem is Droidica is only a, eh, whatever. Just throw it in there. Here we go. Just, uh, let's do Separatist. Let's see. You, you know what? I have a great idea. Here we go. Let's get some. Yeah, there we go. Gar Saxon, Imperial Super Commando. Of course, some damage immunity. And uh, we have no scoundrels here. Who else has a damage immunity we could utilize? Oh. I don't know. Just get in there. Oh, yeah, Django. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll try Django next. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. A good Django. Nikolai, the drunk Soviet, the ten dollars. Do you think the mod economy could use an update? Oh my gosh, uh, easily. I don't think many people are gonna up, uh, disagree on that. Here, put an auto. Uh, what were you saying? It feels like a struggle to just get mods out of the Mark One, the Mark Four, let alone the Six Dot, and upgrade them further. Ah. Uh... I don't know. My my. my... My thing with mods, I want it to be easy. Like they they made progress mass leveling mods in game, but I wish they had better ways of slicing and upgrading the mods in an easier way, and also saving loadouts. Like again, taking like a snapshot, basically what Hot Utils does. <laughs> Don't want to steal their thunder, but basically doing what Hot Utils does, where it snaps your roster to make it easier to swap mods without having to go to a third party website. That's kind of what I would like to see. I don't know. I mean. Yeah, it'd be better to get mods faster. I've never really sat there on my free to play or this account and be like, ah, man, it's taking forever to level up mods. I feel like it's, so again, we're really just chasing for speed at the end of the day. That's mainly the number one concern. You don't even need to max out a mod to the highest six dot rarity for that. Usually if you're going above and beyond, it's because you're not getting the speed or you're trying to, to land a very specific stat. I think it, for me, it's more, I, I want the, uh... yeah, I really want to get, uh just mod management to a better spot i feel like i think that's kind of more what i would like to see mod management is much better it's still visible. yeah it's better I'm not, again i don't want to undermine what they've done it, it is much better but it's nowhere near to where I would, I would like it to be is what i'm trying to say oh man uh what else we got here uh boba the Fett, i got you um yeah we talked about increasing time og nate the great 499 been super busy starting my own business here. Man, trust me, I know how it is. That takes up a lot of your time. But your videos have kept me sane. Glad I can kind of fill in those spots for you. Thanks for everything you do. Man, I love being thanked because I'm having a good time playing a mobile game. Life is good, right? No, I appreciate it, my friend. Uh, long live the Empire. As long as I'm helping you, I'm have, getting through that day a little bit better and you're having a good time. You know what? No problem. That's what I'm here for. I just want to have a good time with y'all. Uh, what else we got here? Alex Attell, 499. Oh my gosh, I'm actually almost caught up. Holy crap. Uh, Christmas starts November 1st. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't, I don't, I'm not arguing about this. I, I had a, me and Elite of an Alder. I'm, my God, look how amazing that is. We've been having this debate. The second November 1st hits, she's like in full Christmas season. It's like, I don't know. I need like, like for me, like I'm not in full like holiday mode until like Thanksgiving. But uh, I just, for me, it's the funniest crap, man. One second, it's Halloween, and then all of a sudden, the radio stations, they play Christmas music literally the next day. 
It's like, there's no buffer. It's like, all right, we got to capitalize on the season. Let's go, baby. Uh, I'm not spending thousands on decoration in a weekend putting them up to freeze. I get it. And that's one of the arguments that the Lady of down presents me. It's like, who the hell wants to do all this decoration, spending the money? Should, you know a business I should get into? Jeez, man. If you go like to some of the nice neighborhoods, the people that like hang up Christmas lights around the house, it's like, I thought it was maybe like, okay, maybe they charge 300 bucks. Okay, you know. They charge like thousands just to put a little bit of light around your gutter. I'm like, what the hell? I can do that. I can get on the ladder. It's like, man, I'm in the I'm in the wrong business here. And then boom, house, 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 house. Yeah, so that that, that blew my mind when I learned about that. Uh, it's like, it's like, how much? Dang. Uh, but yeah, I, I get it. If you're going to put all this time and effort, you know, you don't want it to be just for 25 days. Uh, retail workers once November starts. No, you know what blew my mind? Gosh, dang. I don't know, something about the, the holidays this year felt all jumbled up. So it was like, you know, late September. And I was at, I was at, I can't remember. Probably it was a Home Depot or Menards. I'm always at the freaking hardware store getting crap. And I'm like, where's all the Halloween decorations? You know, it's like late September, almost early October. And I thought maybe I was too early. I was like, oh, okay. And then I know I'm told like, no, all their stuff is sold out. And it's like, they have no more stuff. And and then when Halloween comes, they have like nothing there. It's like, well, like, like isn't, uh, I don't know. I was just blown away. It's like, I don't understand it. I worked in retail many times in my life. So I, I, I vaguely understand how the, they get ready for Christmas in August and crap like that. But I don't know. Just my mind works a little bit different. You know, it was just, it was, it was weird. Thinking that I was early for Halloween. It's like, oh, I'll see what Halloween decoration they have. And they're all like, pretty much it's gone by late September. They have no plans on restocking anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyways, how did Anakin get through that ISC damage immunity? Uh, probably buff immunity. I haven't been paying attention. Buff immunity should shut down the damage immunity, if I recall. And then we have Alex Tello, 49. Speaking of KC bangers, adapt or die. When you keep say, when you keep, when you say keep on fighting, I definitely hear keep on farting. <laughs> There's a lot of innuendos people somehow pulled out of that song that I never intended. But you know, that's the beauty of it, I guess. Everyone here is something a little bit different. Like I never knew people thought the song was, uh, what, what was the song? Uh, the, the, the Meatbag Master, what, what people, people said they heard something else. I still can't hear it to this day. But you guys are in the Savage song. My wife is yours. And now apparently there's another innuendo and adapter die. Hey, everyone makes a song, the, the, a little thing, a little special for them. They hear something unique to them. Uh, then Mount JL, SWH, 39 months. The decent data cron management, please. Oh my gosh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's already bad if they force us to engage with it, right? And you're lucky to maybe get, interact with some data crons. You get what you want. The worst is like, you know, because sometimes I have to do it in waves. You know, I, I take a, a data cron to level three and I come back later when I have more resources. Here, we'll, we'll hop into it right now. The worst is... The worst is, oh yeah, meat, yeah, meat bag buster. Yeah, that's what the innuendo was, or not an innuendo, but that's what people were hearing. How many, how much my damage immunity did we get through? All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's just, it's, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. They don't put, it's like, we're not asking for a lot. Like you could sort your mods by speed, defense. Like, why is it there's not a filter where I can sort by defense? Or if I want to sort by like, sometimes I'm like, all right, which one? Like, I have all these level threes that I, I might get to. Or I got to dismantle some. Yeah, you could tell I'm... <laughs> I got to dismantle some because my whole inbox right now <laughs> is basically filled with datacrons from farming the credits. But you would think they would have a, a system where you can filter it out better. Because otherwise, you're literally just like... All right, it's like, all right, uh, okay, uh... All right, that has that. Okay, and like, there's not even an arrow, so you got to back out. It's, just, it's very unintuitive. They, I, I didn't, it does feel like they put a lot of thought into this. They just like did it just to be done with it. But it's like, let's say for whatever reason, I want to find a data crown that had the protection up on the level three or whatever. I don't know. Pick whatever thing you want. It's like, all right, is it that? Is it that? No, it's not that one. So yeah, it's 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 annoying. It's annoying. Or let's say you want to organize by defense and you want to try to perfect those defensive stats. You literally got to just like keep clicking on all of them and uh and then you got to total it up so it doesn't even show you the total so you gotta like yeah you know, this one has no defense so but you know what i'm getting yeah 100 percent with you i feel like it, it's obviously gonna be part of the game whether you like it or not i'm I, i'm one third like it two third hate it 
<laughs> it's gonna be here and it's been here for a year and a half now I, I think it's you know it's minor stuff all they gotta do is what they do for mods at the minimum to let me sort it at least a little bit better oh all right then we got one more we have Vidori over here landing with a 499 hey i don't just joined did you already notice your mask gets are, are we am i matching it's hines in this round i know um toyota told me about that we were in the same bracket i see matched up with me well ain't that something i did not see that until now we didn't check my opponent oh this could be fun this is gonna be fun oh all right we got to do something fun it's been a while i mean we, i was gonna say it's been a while but we fought warrior as a, a last content creator fella uh okay we need to i, I want to do something fun i mean we could do a normal grand arena you know just do normal i feel like we could maybe try to do something fun maybe we pull out the draft mode tool that we got uh, we i think it needs to be updated there's a lot of characters that aren't in that draft tool Ooh. This should be fun. I, I I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, I want to do something with him. Yeah, real time. I don't know what his schedule's like. He usually, because he's in Australia. He's from down under where the thunder is. I I don't know when he streams. I want to believe he's a he's a he's a morning streamer. My time, like early morning, because he's like everything's upside down where he is. So, isn't that crazy if you think about it? His toilet's upside down. That's crazy. Like, I, I, like how isn't that crazy? Like, why does it uh, gravity, man? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Heinz, I know that guy. Love me. Listen, what's not the love about him? He's a fun guy. He's a fun guy. We've uh, we made some videos in the past. I, we've never done a stream together, so we'll see if we could try to coordinate a stream. But yeah, everything's kind of polar opposite with us. How does that work? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Yotter. He streams at night. EST is it nighttime? So that means we'd have to do it tomorrow. I gotta find his, I gotta see if he reached out to me in Discord. I'll reach out to him and figure out if there's a time. Who knows, maybe we'll do a Friday night Grand Arena. I wouldn't be opposed to that. That means I can at least have a uh, Saturday to, to chill with the Familia then. Ah, uh, Tiny's been trying to get a hold of me. I know I saw Toyota, he, he reached out to me. I don't, well, to be fair, I missed most of my messages. <laughs> I'll have to go actively seek him out. But yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. The downforce is a pathway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural. Live stream might be tough with time zones. Yeah, we'll see if we can figure something out. YouTube better be streaming live. <sighs> yeah, I gotta see when he streams. If it's like, like not super late on, oh gosh. He might be like a 12 a.m. streamer, my time. I don't know if I can pull that off. <laughs> we'll see if we can uh, try to find a middle ground between us. Try to bridge both the top end of the world and the bottom section. We're the upside down as we'll try to bridge it together. Marvel snap on the way out. I got to get rocking and rolling here. I got a thing going on in about 40 minutes. But hey, Yotter, pour one out for me. Win a couple matches me. Pop a few Odin, Wong plays, and Hazmat for me. I would greatly appreciate that. Just like I appreciate all you lovely folks coming out, man. Uh, You know, you know we, we got to get the cobwebs out. You know, we're going to get that lay thing dialed in. We got a lot of practice in today. Let's hope I can convert that into the next one. I'm not sure about this Grand Arena. Heinze, we'll see if we can do something fine. Well, uh, you'll know. You'll know it when you see it. You know it, you know it, you know it, you know it. Big thanks to everyone who came out. Had a lot of fun. Send in that raid info. Let me know what you're feeling about it. My, 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 oh my. You guys are too generous. Too much fun to hang out with. Whether you stayed for a minute, you left that like, you left that dislike. Whether you gave $5 billion or one cent, I appreciate it. None. The last, and we have Andrew Gunn wrapping us up. Little 499, I return to remind you that it's not a date. It's just not six foot eight. <laughs> Sounds like Andrew loves the tall mamas out there. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, I need, I need, a, I know I'm kind of feeling this. Yeah, I'm feeling it. We're going up this, y'all. Hit the cover, because we got a fun grand arena coming. It's all destiny. Let's get it. Let's get it. Meet me out there real quick. Get loose. Let's get loose.
Here you go, Yotter. We die, so we die. Ah, uh-huh.